Hey Arizona, just because weed is legal now doesn't mean your criminal record is clear. You need to visit azexpunge.org today. The Reclaim Your Future campaign can expunge your record for free. Go to azexpunge.org now.
Hey Arizona, just because weed is legal now doesn't mean your criminal record is clear. You need to visit azexpunge.org today. The Reclaim Your Future campaign can expunge your record for free. Go to azexpunge.org now.
Disclaimer, this video, like all videos featured on this channel, is definitely intended for mature audiences. This video is likely to contain profane language, content is inappropriate for minors. Video is not for kids. Welcome to the Dr. Green Dumb Show. Lord of mercy. Welcome to the Dr. Green Thumb Show live on Discord, Twitch, YouTube, and the home site, www.bereal.tv. It's a Friday night. Yes. I am Dr. Green Thumb. Hello. To my right, Mr. Good Light. Live and direct. DJ C minus. <laughs> Happy Friday. Mm. And to his right, the iconic one, one Eric Big Drum Bobo. Buddy. Yeah. And up at the treehouse, the treehouse crew, Bolton, blah, 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 and the Dominator. Yo, yo, how you doing, B? I am good. I just had a 100 milligram THC drink, so we'll see how we do here. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's you, see what's up. You keep him awake, rah, rah. <laughs> Even if you got to kick him in the balls, all right? <laughs> just do it. Uh, we have the big bag in the house, the strong one, Steph Tall. Hello, big hello, big. everybody. I'll definitely say he can handle 100. Yeah, I think so. You know, I mean, he, he, we already know those cookies weren't 100. They he were, he they looks were, like a twig, but he can handle yeah, it. Yeah, he's, he's <laughs> a crow. Colton's got a, he's got a, he's got a solid threshold. He can go deeper than the, than the average. Whoa, whoa. Than the, the average skinny guy. <laughs> yeah. Those Pause. cookies prove yeah, it. Pause. Yes, we've, we've trained him well enough that, you know, even though it looks are deceiving, you know, it looks like yeah. a little twig, but he can get it, <laughs> get it off. Twiggy Marley. We also have the concentrate king in the house, Cali Blade. There you go. Thank you, Bobo. That was great assistance. Yeah, just sort of like seamless. Don't be hissing in the background, bro. He wasn't hissing. He was. <laughs> yeah, that's what I call hissing. That's, no, a... hiss is. <laughs> All right, close enough. Don't be, uh, what, do you, what do you call it? A lispin over lispin, there. Don't be lispin. Don't be lispin. You like Sonny Lispin. Sonny Lispin. Yep. <laughs> that was an ex extendo lisp. Yep. Yeah, that was the lisp of lisps. What to do on this Friday? Um, Salute to all y'all. Um, yeah, man, getting ready for this tour coming up, man. We legalized it. When do you guys actually leave? Uh, I think it's three weeks from now. Okay, right? good. We still got a couple weeks left. Right, fourteenth or something like that. I think thirteen. Thirteen. Yeah, fourteenth is the first day. Yeah, so we still got a few weeks at home before we get. To, get you'll be gone again. almost. Oh, the there it goes. Yeah. There it goes. Eighteenth. Yeah, eighteenth. Yeah, but we got a couple things before that. Like we have that show uh, for. Woody, the Woody Show that's oh, yeah. coming up. What is the Woody Show? It's like a for a radio. It's a radio show event. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that cabinet. He went to several of our shows <clears throat> growing up, and you know he's a big host on on uh, on the station, and you know he wanted you know for his tenth anniversary. It's their tenth anniversary for the Woody Show, and they wanted the big bad almighty Cypress Hill. All right. Salute to Woody and the crew. You know what I'm saying? Where is it at? You know, uh, the where, the where, where's that? The <laughs> That's, uh, it's downtown. downtown oh, right yeah. We who's that? <laughs> Los Angeles. <laughs> Los Angeles. Oh, you, nice. know? Um, but you don't know? It's right where it's right where the um remember the Variety Arts Center used to be? Yep. Right there. Yeah. Okay. You know, Bobo, when I when I came here today, I thought, man, he better not be wearing this shirt. Cause sometimes we'd be, you know, like unconsciously wearing the same shizzle. Twinning. Because we don't talk in the mornings like, hey, what you wear, <laughs> dog? That would be kind of fun. Like, Yo, it would have been uniformed up. As a matter of fact, I mean, we could put these to work on stage this year. These are pretty sharp. Those are sharp. 
I, I do that. This is for part of our Huff collaboration, Cypress Hill. Let me just, well. And this is a Huff collab this is right in the way. Yeah, this you whole know? thing is a Huff. I'll Huff and I'll Puff. Like and I'll blow your fucking house down. Yeah. Yes, uh, on this side, on my chest, over here. <laughs> That's the Cypress Hill logo right here. If you get down with that Huff thing, you could find the this collaboration with Huff and, and that t-shirt and a hoodie much like the t-shirt that Bobo's wearing on the Huff website. So um check for that collab. Keep it Huff. Keep it Huff. Why does it have to be so I'm good? not familiar. Huff. What's Huff? Peep, uh, peep me out. Huff Daddy. It's a clothing brand. Yeah. Yeah. They're pretty yeah. you know, they put put out some dope stuff in collaboration. That part. And we put out like a small line, limited line with them this year. Awesome. And I believe we're going to be having some of it on the tour, maybe. I think. Yeah. I think. I cannot promise you this. But if you go to Huff's website, you can check out what they be having, man. You feel me? <laughs> you, all, you, you all right over there? Did you ride your bike? Not today. You didn't ride your bike here today. Not today. Not yeah. today. Waiting to get a couple little parts, you know. Waiting on pots. Waiting on some pots. You going to have it ready by Monday? Uh, it's going to be ready. Well, he's got one bike ready already. You know, it's just his his second bike yeah. he's working on right That's now. That's kind of getting used to it. That's the one going to take out on the road. Uh, getting it all hooked up. Ready for that. You know? Yeah, we still got to talk to Dan about how we going to fit. Well, you know what? It was funny because I was talking to Dan. And he says, man, uh, why don't you take down these bikes? And then he It's a him. foldable bike? It's a foldable bike. <laughs> nah, and then Dan. Like, so, oh, I, can, I can't do that. Nah, man. Dan, we ain't rocking foldable bikes. Not for three hours. No, Hell no. Nah. Man, not going to. No. That's going to kill your knees back the whole shit, Jack. He said, man, but they work. <laughs> I want to bring my monster quad on. So the tour, condoms, I don't use It's a big bike. With the monster quad? Yeah. Yeah. Is that what the one with the big fat ass tires? Yeah, it's got big tires on it. Mm, yeah. That's a ride right it, there. The 20 it's comf- it's cru- it's a like perfect cruiser though, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's a cruiser bike. Right. Like you don't want to be r- rolling up hard hills and stuff like no. this. This is like a like the way we kept telling Pedro that the, the cartoon bike is more of like a beach cruise bike, like flat, cool, cruise, enjoy it. Not the hard ride up like any kind of hill or incline. I try and go up no hill on this. No, nah, man, it's too heavy. That's I'm gonna throw me a rope. Yeah, that's why I'm saying, Steph. On, on Monday, bring your light bike. You know, whichever your your new one is light like that, right? Mm-hmm. It's 29. Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh, yeah, so hey, here's a 29 inch uh, monster quad. Yeah, this is what you're talking about. Mm-hmm. I got the white and purple one. Okay. Dope. Yeah. Anyway. Steph been riding for a long time. Single man. speed. Yeah, single speed. Like you know, Bobo Steph used to run half pipes and things like this. Yes, I heard. Uh, I mean, I wasn't extreme, but you know, I extreme I least, enough. I could get over the top. Yeah, but not by much. You know, maybe a foot at the most. I never did that. I yeah. I rode, but that part I never did. I didn't know anybody with a I half a pipe. We, we were. <laughs> I'd say the most extreme stuff I did was about whenever we were out riding trails. You know, hitting like the really big jumps and stuff like that. Yeah, that's what I would do. Like, that was the, what I did. That I mean, I didn't do anything again, anything extreme, but try to hit the jumps clean. You know what I mean? Yeah, same right. thing. The big ass jump, but I want to just land smooth. That's all. Hey man, I'll tell you what. I had my share of good jumps and I had a couple bad oh, ones. Oh man, I went <laughs> off the trail definitely m- my share of times. Oh yeah. no! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> just straight roll. The overcompensate. Oh man. Well, right uh, now, right now, I think I've per- perfected my quarter inch wheelie. Yeah, I've your I've, quarter inch wheelie. I haven't I haven't done wheelies in ages. My wheelie abilities right now is you is know. low, but I will but I will be working on them. It is my goal to at least be able to roll a wheelie whenever I want. Hey, I, I used to be able to roll them. I, I haven't today. I ha- sure. today in this age, I don't have I don't have it together where I could sustain it. Nope. It, it would take me some time to get my balance on that right again. Yeah, but I used to have them, bro. I like be able to ride them a block down if. You know, so I think on these big bites though, you could probably start almost in the wheelie position, like yeah. set it up, and then you climb on, and then that way you're already there, so you don't have to. You don't have to thought, do the raise. It's, it's the a raise. Long way back on yeah. the big bike. Yeah, you know? When you're a kid, you don't think about it. You just find it. When you're older, you don't want to fall all the way back and crack yourself. So you're like, 
kind of like you know skittish about like lifting up too I, hard. I, I agree with that 100 and that's why i don't have pegs on the back because if you come if you are going to go all the way back last thing i want to do is put my foot down and i hit the peg Not the oh, oh man oh, yeah oh, no you oh. don't have to. then you don't even go back you just keep going yeah, I mean, some of the dudes in the L.A. Riders, they can do these wheelies like, for blocks. Damn, man, I'm you telling know? you, I used to be able to I, do this, man. Like I, You can still do it, though. Well, that's the goal. You that's where I want to get. Well, no, I, I would have to, like, you know, get the confidence back of holding that. One well, thing, the only way to get the confidence back is to go all the way back. Yeah, I know and, that. And all so the way. you know where that point is or well, you'll never be able to hold it. Like, well, and that's what I want to point out, too. Like, if you watch this footage again, back in the day when I was doing this all the time, I had my seat post much higher, just like that. Yeah, when, right. When the the higher your seat is, the less you have to go all the way back. And you could balance it better. Yeah, yeah. you can if you get it. Yeah. If you don't go back enough, you can't balance. Yeah, it. you have and to be there or higher. Hey, that kid is good though. Yeah. And, and a lot a lot of people have their seat much lower, uh, especially on these really bigger bikes. You know, when you jump is when you put your seat lower because you don't want to like. Yeah, you don't need that. <laughs> you don't want that popping up right up your ass. Yeah, you got enough when enough, you, enough things to deal with besides that. Yeah, like when you see most people riding ramps, like to actual jump, they they put their seat low. They'll like rock a low post on it because yeah, all the way down because they're gonna land on their feet. They're not gonna land in a sitting position. And if you're gonna start doing like. 720 and 900 tail whips where you're no. spinning the bike three, four Ain't times. Ain't doing that. I'm not. I'm not doing that. Like, fools be doing, like, triple backflips, quad backflips now, uh, triple front flips. It's uh, incredible what they do on the damn bike. 720 backflip hey. with triple tail whip yeah. to a no-hander. Not, <laughs> not getting off the course, so to speak, but... Um, we were talking about something the other day, and Steph brought him in, and we knew he would bring him in. Uh, he was listening to the show the other day. Uh, what are they called? Um, what you're drinking right there, Cali Blaze? Oh, heaven. The Orange Cream School Frost. The Orange Cream School yeah, Frost. Dude. Shout out to Steph Tone. He came at Ooh. Wendy's. We highlighted oh. it the other day. Yep. And he brought them in, and they were as delicious as they look. <laughs> yep. Oh man, Message I would recommend received. Them. <laughs> and fulfilled, man. Snack tone brought him in, boy. Oh, Everybody man. was like, oh. Yeah. No. Well, only six people. That's no, all right. Only, only six privileged people. Now, uh, would you compare this to like the orange Julius? Orange Julius was a little different because it was yeah. vanilla ice cream with orange juice. This is just orange flavored ice cream. Right. It's delicious. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. phenomenal. It tastes just like a cream oh, sickle. Orange so good. cream sickle. Once it hits your lips, it's 50, still 50 good. Bar. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, that's old school, bro. Yeah. So good. <laughs> Did you have a little that's, spill, yeah. Steph Tone? No, not okay. Not yet, but I, I did get have to slam on the brakes four times on that trip. I was like, damn, the Matrix wants these things on the floor. <laughs> yeah, there's been like some <laughs> they're trying unprecedented traffic um, <coughs> these, these, this last week and a half. Yeah, it was, it was brutal. It's been very ugly. 2 p.m. on the 110. Oh, yeah. Not the time. Bobo. What happened? <laughs> Do violin know. players uh -huh. brush their teeth like they're playing the violin? <laughs> you know, like, do they play classical music and chink, 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 chink. Well, that's not the right method because they're supposed to be doing little circles. You know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, if I was a violin player, I probably would. You know, like, like people, you know, play air guitar and shit like that with, like you with the bow. Think. <laughs> let's just be grateful I, that they're brushing their teeth. Yes. Well, yeah. I mean, let's be grateful. Everyone, <laughs> might, well, might mostly be, everyone brushes their teeth. Might straight. not be the correct method. Stank ass breath if a, you didn't. But there's an effort being made to some 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 extent. Yes. But do you think that happens? You think there's a violin player out there or several? That like when they're brushing their teeth, 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 their teeth, their teeth, their teeth, their teeth, I would, I would, as a gambler, I would say no, no. And the reason why is because those people, their attention to detail is much higher than the than the average person. Therefore, they would already have a greater understanding how to take care of their grill, just on the principle of the fact that they. 
they would have already elevated so, their, their toothbrushing skills. So you're saying there's not one quirky son of a bitch out there? <laughs> no, there's definitely at least one quirky son of a bitch. No, out I'm going to say there's more than one. I, I definitely uh, well, yeah, believe. 20%, guaranteed. I definitely believe that up and coming, like students that are in their teens, I think that they definitely do it because they get a little, maybe a little excited. Now, you know, like let's they say fight. they're let's say they're they're brushing their teeth and they're listening to a piece just to get the stroke going on. Yeah, yeah. so you know, yeah, but I never took my toothbrush when Van Halen came on. I was just like, <laughs> but that's different. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's different. We're talking about violin. You don't. You, I mean, you we're be talking real, about with a bow. You'd be real special doing that. Yeah, that's that would be, be real amazing. special. Here, let me play my. <laughs> My little toothbrush. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we all know about the little baby violin, you know what I mean? We, we, we don't know about that. Nobody knows about the toothbrush guitar. No, nah, no. Nah. <laughs> because that doesn't exist. <laughs> the toothbrush guitar. Wow, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah. <laughs> Steptones toothbrush. There it is. There, there goes <laughs> Steptones toothbrush. There you go. <laughs> Rocking yeah, solos baby. every morning. Yeah. So somebody has done it. I mean, if that exists, then somebody's been definitely just yeah <laughs> strumming that brush. Yep. <laughs> strumming that brush. <laughs> that, uh, somehow you made that sound. I know. That's why I laughed. Like okay. really bad. <laughs> you made that work. It's a National Bavarian Crepe Day, fellow. Oh, I love crepes. I, I, I like crepes, but I, I don't re ever recall having a Bavarian crepe. Crepe. Is there a yeah. difference between that and a regular crepe? Uh, you know, here it goes right oh, 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 yes, my please. God. I think I need oh a Bavarian God. crepe. They sell them, by the way, at certain Costco's. They're already made. Already made. Oh, good. They look oh, right. Have them, man. Shit. And then just plain, you can add whatever you want and tell us strawberries, whatever you want. Yeah, I want it the, seems I like want very simple. Drizzle. Like you could make it yourself. Make a little it's crepe. It's very easy, yeah. Dark <laughs> chocolate drizzle with banana yeah. in the middle. Just say crepe. Is that that say, really thin? I love pancakes. That, really yeah. that was a great one. <laughs> no. I love those. Those are delicious. <laughs> yeah. But don't say it, man. Don't yeah. say it. Hey, what if, just what, really if thin what if you put peanut butter inside that crepe? Delicious. Those, you can. Those Absolutely are really good. I do like those. Peanut yeah. butter crepe with, with chocolate dark butter. chocolate swizzle and bananas. Done. That's yeah. one of my highlights of, of, of all my European travels. You know, the different... Crepes all around. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Crepes and kebabs, you know, Bro. different kebab everywhere. And you know the cool thing about the crepe is it's not like as filling as as a regular, like you look like a pancake. Because no. it's a very thin it's so thin. It's I'll eat that whole thing. I like those um, you know, fruit flavored uh I'll eat fruit every filled crepe. uh filled. Pancake, yeah. filled. That's a crepe, no? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you mean like yeah. a blueberry pancake or a crepe? Yeah, yeah. Like they okay. have those on like uh Amsterdam and stuff like yeah. Panacokin. I remember in Paris, they used to. I found I used to only eat the Nutella and banana and Frog crepes and, and crepes. But then I found out they have savory ones. They have like chicken yep. and cheese ones and ham and cheese ones. They make everything, and yeah. they're delicious. delicious. France, they have frog leg ones. I, you know, I would mess with that. I ain't no frog leg. <laughs> no frog. No, no. I, I don't mean the frog legs. I mean like in the savory aspect. But I'd rather have them in the dessert. Absolutely. Yeah. Crepe, and, crepe and is like chicken and waffle. If you had chicken and crepe, that's yeah. Look at that right there. That's like, not wrong at all. Ooh. Oh, man, come on. Chicken and crepes. I mean, yeah. It's like a quesadilla with a thin little pancake. Christ. But it, would it would it have to be fried chicken or could, could it be grilled chicken or it is it grilled. subjective? Oh, he really broke it. If you want it to be delicious, <laughs> fry it. Mm -hmm. uh, there's yeah. delicious grilled chicken. What are you there is. Or rotisserie Fried chicken. Fried is always better. Uh, rotisserie uh, chicken. You know, it's I, not recently, healthy, but I recently, like, I don't know why I went down this rabbit hole, but I recently went to Pioneer Chicken for the first oh. time in all First time? Years. Pioneer? Where'd you find that? There's only two locations. Yeah, in left. Southern California, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, one that's on uh, Soto. And, uh, yeah, Soto. 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 Pioneer Chicken is Soto. a classic. Yeah, yeah, it is. The gizzards. You yeah, put pioneer chicken right next to a Popeyes and be. That was uh, that was Kentucky Fried Chicken's like straight up rival, but something happened in the seventies that like blew Pioneer off of uh, yeah, I off of the road that for a minute because they were all over the place. Yeah, you know, it was them and like, them and they, KFC, yeah, which was known as Kentucky Fried Chicken back then. Churches back then, churches always been good. Ooh. Well, churches didn't go that far back. Hmm. They came later. I think they churches came in the 80s, I think. Yeah, they were around in the 80s. Yeah. Well, 
Yeah, it was only Pioneer Chicken. There was no other. It was KFC. That was the pa- only Pioneer and Kentucky Fried Chicken yeah. were the two. KFC could not be faded back then. No, they, was, oh, they were was, using real chicken. They were then. using real chicken still. <laughs> like that. Like there, everything was great. Those little mini banana cream. Their fries fried chicken was the oh, best. It was the hey, best. The you chicken when they brought littles, out the they real they, chicken, the little? real chicken littles. Ooh. About to say the real chicken and, littles are the ones. And when they brought out the barbecue chicken. Yep, yeah. the barbecue. That was all of that. Their barbecue Brand. chicken was fire. Oh, it was man. it was fire. That was like addicting. Their barbecue chicken yeah. was addicting. It probably was not good for any of us, <laughs> but it was oh, delicious. But they've long since abandoned whatever was great back then. That's yeah. that's gone. We had some like little hood spots. That were great. <clears throat> same for same with Taco Bell. You know, when they both became part of this, when whenever Pepsi bought them, whatever happened then, that's when that was it. Corporations cut corners. Yeah, that was it. you can't. Was sh- they were sharing a, a kitchen at one point, right? I don't know. That was yeah, good. They, they had those combination restaurants. Remember the one? It was like KFC and Taco Bell. Oh, oh, yeah. You can, you can still find them. We have them by my house. Uh, <clears throat> it was uh, Burger I'm, King, Long John Silver's were together in New York, those two. Oh, Taco, that's and, Taco, and, uh, Pizza Hut and... Pizza Hut. Same with Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut back Hut then. With? Taco Bell. That's Pepsi. Yeah, maybe it was Taco Bell. Pizza yeah, Hut. Pizza Hut and Taco Bell, yeah. Taco Bell, yeah. yeah. Right. Pepsi, Pepsi. Has, Pepsi has watered down a lot of their... Uh, their products, unfortunately. I just gotta Except say, except for the Pepsi, this is the worst fast food place. It is, yeah, agreed. No, it's not. That is wrong. Disgusting. I hate it. I'll Back tell you day, what, though, that is not so wrong. Bad. But you know what? There was another spot. Remember Skippers? Yeah. Skippers, Skippers was great. I miss. I used to love Skippers. All these places oh, will give you a lot of cholesterol. AD, Hell yeah. You remember H Salt Fish and Chips? Yes. yes. That was good. See, now oh, that yeah. sounds good because it's probably like a mom and pop type it, of thing. It is. It's not. It's a chain. No, it, was, oh, it was a chain. It, it seemed like it. It sounds like, like it. It seems yeah. like it, but it was a chain. But we just they were actually ours. good. They were good. Except for some places would be would they would do that thing where there'd be too much batter and a yeah. little bit of fish I and greasy. That. Yeah, yeah. And I love fish greasy, and chips, yeah. but now you better have a good solid piece of cod in there, like not like, the first, like a flake. The first, That's what I miss, man. The first Skippers. three, the they're, first they're three bites, great. the first three bites of some of those uh, fried things, like you don't just breading. It's just bread. Ugh. Yeah, no good. Yeah. And the, the oily breading too. The yeah. best tasting yeah. clam chowder ever. I never Skipper. tried their clam chowder. They had oh, clam chowder. Man. Back in the day. That's oh, it. That's good. Skipper. Oh, Skipper. So, okay. Yeah. See, no. We had Kennedy fried chicken. That was like a little spot that was dope. Did you guys have Crown or churches? Or- we had churches. 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 Well, no see, Crown, though. No all right. the churches in like, Louisiana fried chicken, all that stuff is kind of like in the hood. Mm-hmm. Out here, yeah. you know they mean? were the same by I mean, you you see them in but, different places, but yeah, mostly in the hood. But, but like when I'm, I was in San Antonio, they were all over the place. Like churches was like hot. You know, but out here, you have to go into, you know, ethnic places to, to get your chicken. And Every You had to go into the, um, yeah, you got to go into the hood. You e- got to go. Every single fast food chain out there that's still around now from back in the day, and, and, and I'd say this about every single one of them, they were all better back in the day. The, what they were 30 years ago is... There's nothing Agreed. about that now anymore. Agreed. Whatever the Donald's ain't the same. None of them. Not There's not close. a one that no tastes way. anything like it used to taste. Like yeah. this is, it's ugh, it's, like a, it's repulsing at times. A McDonald's burger <sighs> is not satisfying at all. No, not anymore. They used nope. to be great. You know, used to be hidden. Yeah, nope. I used to get the. See, in New York, it was the number two. It was the two cheeseburgers. And fries and a drink. Yeah, I get that with a twenty-piece nugget. Every, every time I yeah. go to any spot like that, I'm just like, all right. Like in my mind, I already know it's like, why am I even bothering? Because I know I'm not gonna like when I get to the other side and I'm ready to eat it. Like the only place I can seem to still eat with some kind of pleasure is Del Taco. Oh, they yeah, they, they, yeah, Del Taco's not bad. Let me switch switch gears here for a second. Uh, Ghostface Killer dropped a new album exclusively through Bitcoin ordinals or originals. I don't know, depending, because, you know, sometimes, you know. <laughs> How do you listen I, to I don't, I don't I, you know, this, this is according to Dom here. Oh, yeah. So it says Bitcoin ordinals. That, that with, it's ordinals. Okay, oh, it is ordinals. cool. All right, cool. I just wanted to make sure. Yeah. What does that mean? Uh, ordinals with 10,000 coins available <clears throat> and shareholders get Creative Commons, zero rights allowing them to further build upon and enhance and reuse the works. I don't know where ordinal came from, but that is not ordinal. That's not a D. It looks like a D, but it ain't. Or, 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 orinials. 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 Oh, well, there, there's a... Or, <laughs> it's O-R-D-N-I-L-A-S. There's a lot of misspelling it's up there. Ordinal. Well, there's a few different 
um, ordinal spellings up there because there's their, uh, that's the AI work from the uh, yeah thing. Yeah. Wow. Well, but yeah. here we go, right here. No, the, the ordinals. Yeah. yeah. Ordinals. ordinals. Ordinal is a service book. There was no I in the other one. It was just O R. So this this uh you know this um is available in bit through Bitcoin. Which means what? Does they have a platform you can listen to it on? Like, I don't even know what that means. Yeah, I think so. And then you can rework it if you own a piece of it and, like, you know, I guess resell it. Something. Oh, that so image that we w were looking at, it just had the letters reversed. Yeah. yeah. Had the I after the... the well, sometimes image. that AI art, they don't spell good. I mean... A bunch of idiots. You know, I mean, you can describe, <laughs> like, what you want to see, but yeah. when you, you know, have a word, it's always misspelled. You have to keep on... Keep on oh, really? correcting You've it. You've noticed that. But you know, it, um, that's interesting that he, that he put out a vi an album only available there. On Bitcoin, so you can only obviously purchase it with Bitcoin. Yeah, you have to purchase it with Bitcoin, wow. which is pretty well, cool. What platform is it on still? Is Bitcoin. Oh, Bitcoin. Bit Bitcoin is their own platform for music? Well, they have, yeah, their app and everything. Their whole it's day. Ordinal is going to be the uh, platform. They, oh, there you go. You use okay. Bitcoin to buy Bit it. There you go. <laughs> yeah, so it's probably a platform by... Bitcoin. No, it's by ordinals. You use Bitcoin. Well, it's it. probably owned by Bitcoin, though. But like Ooh. one Bitcoin is what sixty some odd thousand dollars at this point. It's yeah, it's up there right now. So uh, <laughs> who's going to be using that Bitcoin? That? You don't have to have like one one full Bitcoin. You can have parts of it too. Yeah, you, yeah, you buy can just of course. Like you buy sets. a share. They call them sets. Yeah. What are they up to now? They like seventy thousand or something like that. Yeah, something, something like, like that. that. Yeah, they were. Yeah. They were low for a minute, but they've gone. Yeah, they were Wait, last your year. Turn, it will, it'll take a dip again, and when it does, that's when you get in line again. Yeah, that's that's what you Trace, Trace was given uh, online uh, tutorials on IG. Yeah, he shouldn't do that. He's not as informed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He was getting that. <laughs> it appears to be on the decline. It is. Anyone who bought it this time is losing their balls right now. Well, it goes up and down. It does. I think it's going up, though. But that's what are you looking at year to date? Go one day, five days, look at the trends. That's what you got to you know, do. If you're getting like Bitcoin, it's because you have money that you can absolutely forget about. Correct. You should, any days. crypto it, should be money you don't mind losing. You don't mind. No, Correct. You, you were good back at the year. Or, to if, date. or if you got paid oh, in yeah, Bitcoin. Year to date, for, good. If you got paid in Bitcoin. Yeah, it's been so, going up. If you got paid in Bitcoin some time ago the, mm. and you left it in there, you're it's good. fluctuating. In and out. I would say that that it'll probably hover around where it's at right now, maybe go up a little higher and go oh, down a little bit lower, it. but it's just a question of how low will it go. And if you look at that that trend over the past year, in fact, I think there was a five-year, wasn't there? Probably, yeah. Yep. Well, hey, you know, congratulations to Ghostface Killer. Let's uh, hope he... Um, this is a successful drop for yep. him on Ordinal. Hopefully better than like the whole NFT thing. I'd like to hear bust. it. Yeah. The five years shows what I wanted to point out. There, that same activity where it was that little mountain range right there, mm -hmm. it's the start of the next mountain range. Yeah. It'll be the same height or a little higher, and it will dip down somewhere to that mid, you know, the lower part of that mountain. Not into the bottom on the left, but the bottom of the mountain. That's where it'll reset to. You just don't want it dropping lower than its lowest point. Right. Well, it's been proven to be good, though. Is, yeah. If you look at it, I mean, of even when it, it was started cheap. as like $90, guys, yeah. in 2012. So, of course. Oh, anyone that got it from the beginning, yeah. you know, is just crushing yeah. on it. Hey, um, I don't know if y'all see in the news. Probably Bobo did. But um, <laughs> so, Murrieta, yeah, <laughs> Murrieta's police department uh, were using Lego heads. You know, like to put up pictures of the the criminals mm. they've just they've arrested the because wall? because there's a a law against them using people's actual faces without their without their consent, right? So instead, they use Lego heads. I'm I'm confused. What do you mean? Like when they show, what are they not allowed to do? So show you who the actual criminals are, so you can actually know who the criminals are when you see them in real life. No, it's if if they arrest you, okay, they can't use your photo. To like, oh, in a lineup, or in a lineup, like okay. or or you. whatever it is. So instead of doing that, these guys were using Lego heads. Okay. Mar Marietta police were um, taking uh, Lego faces and putting on, put them, on, putting them on the criminals, enlisting what they did. They right. just weren't showing their faces like this. 
This is the Bart uh, Lego head. <laughs> and so um, I guess Lego got pissed off at this and asked them to stop using Lego heads to cover up the suspect's photo. Now they're going to use them emojis. Yeah, because they the police were putting these up on their IGs. <laughs> That's amazing. And they can't use people's faces because people ain't going to consent to the police putting their face on IG. So, you know, the police department was using the Lego faces, and now Lego's <laughs> like, use something else. We don't yeah. want our shit <laughs> well, on. Well, that's there. a copywritten uh, image. Yeah, it's like what's, infringement. what's the point of this, though? I mean, just logically speaking. They want to go viral. Yeah, the Murrieta, the Marietta police want to go viral. It says the yeah. law prevents police from sharing mugshots of people accused of nonviolent crimes. Nonsense. So if you were already convicted of a violent crime, they can use it because you're already convicted, right? The, you're, the, the head. I'm, the, I'm just saying, there's a head game going on. You, yeah. There's there's no point in even looking at the picture if you're not seeing who the person is. Like to to look at the Lego piece or the emoji or whatever you want to put over someone's face. What's the point? What are you showing me? They're trying to be funny. <laughs> this one's so hilarious. Look, that's hilarious. Uh, they're having fun. I don't with care it. what oh anyone God. says. That's hilarious. I would be the guy in the back for sure. I, that's Aton in the front. I'm definitely not <laughs> arguing with the fact that that is hilarious. But you know God what I mean. Me. So uh, as there, certainly none of the people that are in the pictures are upset that this is it because they're not even showing their face. Right. You know what I mean? Right. No, they're not upset because no, yeah, Legos exactly. They're right. still anonymous. It's Lego right. that's upset. And stop using our thing is on your criminal. Quit using yeah. our shit. But, yeah. man, let them. Yeah, I think it's great. Let them. <coughs> I mean, it, it's going to sell marketing. you a whole bunch of Legos. What if they marketing. just put Barbie and Ken on everyone? Yeah, put Barbie and Ken. <laughs> oh, that'd be great. That's a great idea. That's ours. We already just had that. <laughs> yeah, we we thought of that. Steph Toes thought of that. Or they just use Steamboat Willies. Oh, Mickey Mouse. You could do that, too. Yeah, it's free. Put <laughs> <laughs> gratis. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's, like, that's like a, a high falsetto <laughs> sun like doobie. Right yeah, there. I was yeah. going to say that. High falsetto sun doobie, Mickey <laughs> Mouse. It's like me right there. With <laughs> beard and... <laughs> and what are you looking at? <laughs> Fuck you. I'll tell you. Fuck your mother. That is pretty good, though. I mean, I mean, you know, like, why be so hung up on it, Lego? Come on. Well, have some, have, let, let the pigs have some fun. Yeah, that, like you said, I mean, that's all it is because no one's getting to see whoever that, it is. That, that one's that's great. great. That's great. That's right. great. He's yeah. even red. He's like, hey, he's like, he's like, he's <laughs> like, <laughs> amazing. Back yeah, back is that the, again. So would we, would we call that the drunk Lego? <laughs> yeah. Baby he looks shit. belligerent. Belligerently drunk Lego. Belligerent. What I couldn't see on that day when Dustin was in full effect, cycle less and, <laughs> and be should, yep. perfectly right behind me. I could only hear it <laughs> and imagine what his face looked like. It was red. <laughs> I mean, you know, it turned. Uh, when I turned around and saw him, he was just sitting there. It turned. Holding, <laughs> holding everything up. He turned as red as the numbers on that clock right there. So. Dom, Dom got down here and like, 3.5 seconds. Like, wah, flailing his arm. Like, like, <laughs> <laughs> losing it. He's, He's like, losing it. <laughs> and then you hear as they cut to the commercial. You hear B, come on, man. Yep. You do. You hear B, right? Oh, that was, that's how, oh, that was the sign to go to commercial. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was the trigger to go to commercial. And in that whole moment, come that's when Dustin man. was was back there just stuck. Holding everything. <laughs> he was just I mean, just that clip had me dying laughing like oh, moments crazy. before a show. I mean, you spent two weeks crying. Like, I was, yeah. man, I was looking at it, and I'm like, there. I mean, we're getting ready to go on, and I'm like, damn near crying. I was like, what are you looking at? And I'm like, look, this, look at this. Listen to this. And then just to hear bars like in the background. Like, rah, rah, rah. I'm like, hey, it just hammered. You know what's crazy is, you know. <laughs> That that's like that's uh, Bobo's moment of weakness. There, you want to get Bobo to cry, you play him that Damn shit, that. right? Oh my God, I was dying. Like like uh, E Zone's birthday cake tumble, right? There's this there's this family who this one guy. It's his birthday, so his family's serving him up the cake, and then someone tries to smash the cake, you know, smash his face in the cake, and then the whole table oh. tips over, and like <laughs> it's 
totally a fucked up scenario. It makes Ezone cry every time. It's the only <laughs> one. And, you know, like none of us, no, no one else found it as funny as he did. I want to see this because I want to cry with him. Uh, yeah. I don't know if you'll cry though, Ezo. I want to cry with him. I don't even remember where the vi- I like. I I never looked up the video. I think Ross dude or somebody looked it up back oh. in the day. But yeah, yeah. I it was it, this it was this l- little Mexican homie, or I assume he's Mexican, um, uh, just getting the birthday tune sung to him, and then he was about to have some cake, and then somebody tried to get him, and I think he resisted a little bit, and that caused the table to. Boom! <laughs> Fuck up the whole cake, and and then the whole table caved in, and Ezone was just like Bobo. Man, tears. You see, the, the, the thing, the thing about the whole Bart's thing is like, it wasn't just the fact that he fell and everything, but you you were like saying, "Yo, what's up?" You know, and, and and then and then he's trying to like explain to you like something, but the words are not coming out. The duck, you know, and like I'm thinking, like what, what, said, oh, what you're God. thinking, like come on, like what am I supposed to do with that? What are you saying, bro? <laughs> the first thing I said was, "Oh God." Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, you. Let, first thing you said is, "Oh come on, man." You literally hear it. Oh come yeah. on. That was like, right oh. when it went down. Come on, man. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Oh man! Oh God! <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. I got it! I got and it! And hence, nah, was oh, born. And that oh. one's when nah, was born. Yeah, that, that deer in the headlights look. Yeah, that was, that was awesome. And no, you saw it live and direct. I was gonna say, remember when he almost killed OG? No. Oh yeah. Oh, OG almost killed. Oh! Him. <laughs> he almost squashed him. OG oh, did, wow. Hey, OG tried to get me like that today. <laughs> did he? I swear to God, C minus saw it. I was standing by the door, get and all of a sudden, banned. he just came behind me to trip me up. Yeah, man, he's trip taking out a little bastard. OG is taking out his frustrations on. Yeah, but this uh, is what happened. If you noticed, <laughs> if you noticed, <laughs> Dustin is right between OG uh, and Aton. OG was simply reacting to Aton getting up. <laughs> Only Dustin didn't notice it. Yeah. Man. That was the Matrix right there. Boom, going down, homies. Aton can't even go to the closet without dog getting anxiety, d- uh, attachment yeah. anxiety. He can't come out of the closet yeah. either without getting anxiety. Oh! <laughs> Unprovoked. Very oh. provoked. The word closet was in a sentence. Done. You know, you got separation <laughs> anxiety. Yeah. Right there, you know? Yeah, his dog tried to trip me today, man. There was whiskey involved, is all I'm saying. Was there? <laughs> yeah. Oh, there was? Yeah, was this is not just a, a moment out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> it was that hot second. Yeah. Had he been sober, he would have been able to yeah, it wasn't. It, off. it wasn't a bottle of Four Roses. But you know, <laughs> but you know, he had some uh, uh, some JMO. He had some. Yeah, yeah. What that day? Yeah, right there. I don't think he was loaded that day, was he? Yes, not not four roses loaded. <laughs> what you mean four on? four locos? He had a, yeah, he had a nice little sip. <laughs> four roses, not four locos. <laughs> the four roses, isn't that what the that whiskey was? Oh, was it? Oh, 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 oh! I see what you're talking about. Oh yeah. wow. Yeah, I think it was four roses. I was having a lot. I had a lot of shots with him that day. Oh. I had like four or five myself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he exceeded that. He for every one I took, he had two. Maybe he needs to just stick to like Trulies or something like that. Like <laughs> hard, hard White stuff. Claws. Or maybe just White stick, stick to some claws. weed. Maybe, maybe yeah. weed. Yeah, weed's great. He's a Zima kind of guy. Oh, uh, that's small liquor, man. No, that what is. was what was the old school wine coolers called? Remember Bartles, Bartles and James. And James. Bartles and James. Bartles or or and California James. cooler. Yep, or California, California cooler. cooler. That was the old one. That, was yeah. Those would get you faded. Yeah, because you didn't realize that that alcohol, you just pound like, them down. People man. looked at them like chick drinks, but man, they would smash you out. Yeah, their Bartles yeah. four pack was like yeah. even four pack, man. Yeah. I might try to find a Bartles six pack of ice cold Zima for Tuesday. Oh, California. hell no. <laughs> so they, they no Zima's longer... not a soda, man. It's a malt liquor. <laughs> they don't make California Cooler anymore, right? No, I don't think no. so. No. Those were good, though. They were. They would get you faded. Yeah. They still make Zimas, I think. Though. Yeah, yeah, they, they do. do. Yeah, they, keep that. they don't stop making malt liquor. I'll tell they you just that. brought it back like five, six years. What was ago? the other clear ones? Didn't like Bud do one? And a couple of them did like a clear one after that. Yeah. That was, it was, there was I one. think that was much later though. Yeah, years after Zima. Because Zima yeah. was in ninety three, ninety four. That Easy. I remember. Yeah, yeah. I feel no. like it around. Maybe it was around earlier. in the eighties. Like yeah. whenever Miami Vice was popping, that was the time when Zima was like, really? "What's up?" 
I didn't see it till no. like the nineties. Yeah, early night, like ninety one, probably. Yeah, yeah. Like ninety one, ninety two. <clears throat> That's the first time I. You said from that time, huh? Yeah, I feel oh. like it was in the eighties. Like, I don't think. No, so. no. I, oh, eighties. Okay. Yeah. I feel nah, like, Zima wasn't in the. 80s. I think early nineties. Zima was in the nineties. Yeah. Well, maybe it was out and they didn't promote it. Could be. You know what I mean? Could be. It was in another region right. for, before just, it got to Southern California. I don't know. No, New hey, York too. We didn't see up. it till early nineties. But maybe it was like they didn't push it or market it. Well, they be ta- uh, testing those things out in like right. the boonies, you know beery. what I mean? Somewhere like yeah, beery, yeah, Zima, Zima. Uh, it was launched in 1993. Okay. Yeah, there you go. See? Early 90s. Yeah, when you said, "Boy, did you say Magnum PI?" What were you say? The uh, no Miami Vice. Oh, Miami Vice. Yeah, it was 93. It was after I graduated high school for sure. Yeah, I remember it. I was living in Venice at yeah. that point. Zima, I remember it well. Zima looked um looked non lethal but was oh you know, <laughs> yeah I didn't find out it was malt liquor till after it was very lethal and it was stronger than like street itis and you would uh, see you, <laughs> you would it see was. hood chicks drinking that hell yeah you know what I mean and they'd be getting in fights scrappity dos over anything all of it that was the a- way another chick looked at one. Or if the chick looked at the other one's man, or there was a known thing that, like, you know, this chick fucked with this chick's man, the putasos were going to jump <laughs> off, eh? Puto Scrapville. Bang, put them up. As malt liquors go, though, it did not hit the taste buds with malt liquor flavor. No. No. It might have been made from malt, but it didn't no. taste like No, it, 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 it came over like a cooler, like a soda of some kind. Yes, it did. It, it came off like a soda, like yeah. a Sprite or a 7-Up, but yeah. it was all the viciousness that a pretty little <laughs> drink could pack. So. Yeah, all the juice, yeah. like the juice junkies, we call them the, the bums that used to be in the park, they always drank like Zima because it was stronger. Mm. It was cheaper and it was stronger. It was like, I think I want to say like 6 7%. And then, yeah. like, regular beers, like, four or well, five. Malt so. liquor was always the cheapest. <coughs> yep. No matter where sure. you go. And it would sure. get you the most ripped. Yeah. Yep. King Cobra. Valentine's uh, freaking uh, uh Yeah, why is Valentine's? it that the, the, the cheapest shit gets you ripped you the know, most? Crazy Saint, horse, eight ball. Saint itis. Yeah, eight Well, ball. that's just like night train. Oh, and, and, you mean street mm-hmm. itis. Yes. Yeah. You know, the night train and the um, Mad Dog 2020. Ooh. Yeah, Mad Dog That's different. That's a mixed drink, and those were gross. Like those, I used but, to drink but, them but like for crazy. But poten- for, for potency, for drink potency, Yeah, they those were, were favored because you could get lit. Off a little bottle. For, yeah, but yeah. And cheap. Yeah, for cheap. Very yeah. cheap. Big time. Oof. It was always with the caveat of knowing that you were going to be her team. Yeah. And, and when you're done was, with that. I'll tell you what, that's why there's a lot of winos out there. Yep. Oof. Like, Cisco used to get you because it was potent and sweet, you know. Yep. Well, Cisco's right there. That's yeah. the night train. Hypnotic. The remember Henny and Hypnotic? Yeah. See, think about remember Cisco. Remember that drink? Gross. Cisco, no matter what flavor you got, it all tasted the same. Yeah, it like made you throw up it, every yeah. time. Yeah. Every yeah. time. Yeah. yeah. Oof. I Do you remember the Hypnotic and Henny? Yeah. Back in the day. Oh, what was it? The Incredible Hulk? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was uh, that would get you bent. You drank too many of those. That's that creep up action. You're like mm-hmm. sitting there chilling. I had a good time. Bow, bow. Yeah. Someone got to carry you out. <laughs> yeah, yep, you spinning all the. Time. <laughs> yeah, you do it. I'm spinning all yeah. the flavors. Oh, wow. yeah. all, all the different flavors of of um, what was it? The uh, Bacardi. Like it had like different flavors for all kinds mm-hmm. of different party types. You mean the actual like Bacardi Limon and yeah, yeah. Oh night. yeah, those were the worst too, though. Yep, the flavor <laughs> Bacardi. Yeah, because that'll get you bent, and it had a lot of sugar in it, so the crash was just what was, and and the dehydration yep, factor. The hangover yes. was wicked, mm. ugly. What, what was uh the drink Thug Passion? What what was it? Oh man. <laughs> Wait, isn't that <laughs> what was it, Thug Passion? What, what was Thug Passion? I remember that was that was the. Uh, the shit for a minute. That's a oh, made no. up drink. I don't have no. <laughs> no I see no. that's a song made by Tupac. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. It's Can Alizé it and it some champagne. It says it right next to it. How to make a thug passion? Okay, well, well, Alizé. Two parts gin. Alizé. Alizé. Wait, hold up. Time out. It's two parts gin, half Alizé, and what else? Go to it. Ice. Because that doesn't sound good to me. Gin and Alizé. No. sounds <laughs> which horrible. I was which I was about to say. I didn't. I had never had the desire to drink gin. Like, that was never on my list of alcohol. Like, mm. like I'm going to be drinking some gin. Let alone. Then drink. Dr. Dre gave me the chronic, and I was sipping on gin and juice. No, nah, yeah. man. I, I left the gin is. alone a long time ago. But oh, I mean, and, Okay, so it's part 
part Alizé, part, part Cristal, Chris. and right. and gin. Yep, that's it. That sounds awful. It's gin, Alizé, and Cristal. Awful. That sounds like a, a mix of like Ugh. you're gonna find me praying to the porcelain at the end of the night. I Which do I it. don't want to be. That porcelain god. That white porcelain god. Yeah. yeah no. Those all those ingredients on their own are enough. Are sufficient, but the combination of those three ingredients are lethal. I hope you know what movie that was from. That was what's it called? Uh, uh was it one part on, gin or is uh, it two parts gin? Madness to Society. I think it's two. That's a lot of gin with some alizé and champagne mixed in. Oh, yeah. Oh. No, thank you. That just sounds like a headache. That's, That's what so- it sounds like. Yeah, that sounds like a train wreck. And you're going to wreck that train into like a, a steel wall. That's yeah, the thug thing. passion. Thorns. It's, it sounds like the kind of beverage for the people that kind of want to have them spins. Yeah. <laughs> They're used to the spins. Yeah. They I'm need sad. those spins. Anytime. They want those spins. They want those spins. Anytime that you're mixing all that stuff together, you're going to get guaranteed spins, vomit. Oof. Sputter, all that. <laughs> all that. Everything. Like, you ever been faded off jungle juice? Yeah. Oh, wow. Ooh, oh yes, I That have. was the whole point of jungle juice. Yeah, yeah but it's like a million different liquors together. It's everything well, you can find. It's like whatever, yeah, whatever you, you had. Whatever you got. Whatever you could find with the most sugary, like, you know, fruit punch or Kool-Aid type drink. And any liquors you had, you dumped it. Yeah, that's yeah. what yeah. Exactly. Oof. Yeah, that was the worst, though, because those were the what creep-ups. You had, like, five cups of that or four. <sighs> you were done. Ugh. And if you were lucky, you were using gallons of Hawaiian punch. No, that was using not red, cheap not red drink. You were using red drink. You were using the <laughs> cheap, cheap stuff. It was bad, man. Oh, yeah. Some of the orange ones. Like and that would, cause, that would cause, like, mad dehydration. The fact that you got all them different liquors in there, and then you got the... Most sugar like <laughs> infused drink that you could have in there. You're like getting oh, wrecked. That's why most of us were bent yeah, out of and, our minds. And you have five yeah. different flavors of fruit without a trace the, of fruits the in next, any of that. No fruit. Fruit flavored. Yeah. Yep. The next day was terrible. Let's I just say that. Ooh, oh, that headache. Look at that. The whole day. Look at that. Yeah. This is their uh jungle juice. Everybody loved uh, them some at least two to three cups of that. Yeah, sure. Oh, they, some faded. Hey, look at they had Everclear in that. Bitch. Ooh, you're done. Yeah, done deal. Pop you, off. If hey, listen, you do one cup, you're straight. Yeah, with that Everclear. You, yes, that? you do one cup, you're good, and you're not gonna like, you know, <laughs> spin out and have a horrible night. They you gotta die. You they do. Got, you do two and a half cups of this shit right here. Nope. Done Shit deal. Right they here. got a sorry ass bottle of pop off in there. You already know what that does. Yeah. <laughs> That's the first you thing know I what pop off does by yeah, itself, pop, pop let off. alone combined. People are going to be popping off. That's for sure. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, the pop offs come. Uh, there was a <laughs> moment that night where somebody had a moment. Yeah, sure. <laughs> you, you're absolutely right. And it popped off. It popped <laughs> off. off. Everclear will kill you. You know, like yeah, yeah, people yeah. die from alcohol poisoning yeah. from that. Let point. alone with some pop off in the mix. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ready to see the deal. <laughs> the chemical out. reaction that takes place within you, within your body with those substances. <laughs> it ain't nothing nice. Mm. Oh man. So you'd have to decline the getting having a drink with some pop off in it, huh? Yeah. Because I cannot take that ride. I will not. No, no pop off. I will not be popping it off. <laughs> no pop off, please. <laughs> no pop off. You know who Peter Pop off is? Yeah. You know that psycho who used to be on late at night? Yeah. Oh, who? God. Member send me money. It was like some deranged religious white guy who would Basically, send you miracle water. Just send me money, and you'll be rich. You don't remember those? No. Oh, bro, he so was just on tap water. Yeah, he, yeah, he's he was on for a good ten years, from like eleven to four in the morning. Like you'd be just scanning, and there he'd be, and it was there he is, Peter Popoff. There oh, he is, yeah. that scumbag right there, yeah. dirty scumbag. He is because if you watch his shit, he was telling people, "Are you in debt? Are you going to lose your house?" He, one thing of my miracle water, and it's he's like, just an donate. He's an OG righteous gemstone. He's a, he's, a, yeah. he's a shit is what he yeah. is. He preys on people who are desperate and dying for things and tells them that his miracle water will save their money, just comes in the mail. You're a piece of shit. Yeah. That's S- grind. Scam artist. Big time. Just a scam artist. P.O.S. Yeah, man. He was. Forget about it. Hey, check it out. Look, remember See? it. See? Miracle, Miracle Spring Water. Spring Water. Dang. Free. Mm. Ain't We're going to change the name to the Talk Over Show. All right, look. Uh, check it out. At the at the least, remember that after this is a mix show. The Dr. Green Thumb Mix Show coming after this show. Javi Lopez, C-Minus, Psycho Leasy, myself. We're going to pop it off.
See what I did there? It's going to pop off for you on the ones there too. So uh, tune in to Be Real TV too. All right. And the home site, www.bereal.tv to check the show. Everybody on Twitch, you're going to have to tune in to Be Real TV too. If you haven't created an account, please do so. And come get with us. And if you haven't smashed the like yet, please do that. Quit waiting. Smash it. Tell your friends that are watching to smash it. Subscribe. Tell your friends to subscribe and tell your friends to tell their friends to subscribe and share the show out. Crack the notification bell and get down with the content. All right. And we drop the Dr. Green Thumb show on Fridays at 5 p.m. now. 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 8 Eastern. Make sure you um, lock that in. Spread the word to your neighbors. All right. All this. And uh, with that, salute to all y'all watching. Guys. Did you know? In 1978, on this day, the police signed with AM Records. Oh. Uh, they were the best. They were so good. Don't stand so close to me. One of the best don't bands to ever do it. Yeah. Sting's don't the man, too. To you know, Copeland. Yep. Yeah. yeah. First, he's telling you not to stand next to him. And, you know, Every then years me. later, he's like, he's watching you. <laughs> but right? yeah. you're not standing so close to Don't though. stand so close to me so I could watch you. I tried to tell my girl to do, 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 to die, die, die. <laughs> she just looked at That's me. all she I want to say to you. She just looked at me like, <laughs> bruh. When, hey, listen, when we go overseas. And yeah, do, 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 da, da, da. When we go overseas, instead of texting her, send her a message in a bottle. Oh, oh wow! You. Like that? Yeah. <laughs> I, I did send you a message. You, you I'm gonna send you a message. It's gonna take about three years to get to you. I'll be back before you get it. <laughs> you wanted something stupid? Like you know, I I'm sure everybody mispronounced or used to hear things different. When I used to hear that song, I used to think there was a girl named Donata. Send Donata an SOS because he was saying send, send Donata. So I'm like, who's Donata? <laughs> yep, send Donata an SOS. And I thought Donata was a person. So I just want you to know that. Send Donata That's, SOS. Yep, yep. It's send Donata. Sending out an SOS. Hey, yes. <laughs> Donata SOS. Exactly. Okay. Send her an SOS. Donata, she's important. <laughs> yeah. Just you saying, man. I, I feel words. you. Everybody fucks yep. lyrics up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, so many songs, you never knew what it was until lyric yeah. sheets came out and you're like, oh. <gasps> You know what another one was? A Cypress Hill one? You just said it before. When you said live and direct, mm -hmm. you know what I used to hear? Live and direct. Eyes are dyed red. That's eyes are dyed red. Eyes are on oh, a different song. Eyes are dyed red. Eyes are dyed red. Red. And that's what I was hearing. Damn. Once you hear something once, you'll hear it again. And then once you hear the other way, how did I hear That's it? a clear case of people hear what they want to hear. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, you know that that thing they'll show you that like it's like a like, chant. Hey. No. You know that chant, and you can hear like 90 different things if you just, they'll just change it. It was like, it's like English people. They're chanting, and right. then they'll write something different, and every time they write it, you hear it. Well, look, like Romer in the Night, Blinded by the Light. Oh, blinded by the everybody Light. Always off thought, like a everybody thought it was wrapped up like a douche, yeah. but it's revved up like a deuce. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? And there's yeah. plenty of songs like that where people totally botch the lyrics yeah. Because they don't exactly know until they see a lyric sheet. I, I thought it was like the salt and pepper, push it. Yeah. I thought it was, ah, this is bullshit. See? Everybody, <laughs> I knew it. Ah, it's push it? No, ah, this ah, is bullshit. This is bullshit. He was hearing bullshit, see? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you, I like it. Good. You guys know the Daft Funk song, Get Lucky? Thanks to Scoop DeVille. You know, the part he goes, we're all, we're all, all night to get lucky. The robot part? Yeah. Scoot DeVille walks up to me and Jay Turner goes, hey, doesn't it sound like he says, go rub a Mexican monkey? <laughs> and now, whenever I hear that, that's the only thing I hear. It never sounded like that to me. Well, good luck hearing it different. <laughs> Just to piss my parents oh, off. But you talk about the robot part. Yeah, the robot, the robot part. part. Yeah, go yeah. rub a Mexican monkey. Go rub a Mexican monkey. It was, uh, wow. it was the, the Beatles song, and they, my parents always played, but well, Let It Be used to come on. I used to say Lentil Beans, and they get, I'd be like, Lentil Beans, Lentil Beans. And, and it, <laughs> they get so mad, but I used to always sing Lentil Beans instead of Let It Be. All right. <laughs> That's another one. Lentil Beans. He's yeah. special. Yeah. So special. <laughs> Did you know? <laughs> on this day in 1980, Pink Floyd's Another Brick at the Wall started a four week run at number one. Yeah. We don't need Box. no education. The Wall. We don't need no thought control. That is one of the dopest, dopest albums. They could make a musical based off of that concept right there. I still have to see the movie. 
Well, the movie. music movie's dope. They should make a, a musical based on it. What's yeah. the movie? The Wall. The wall. They made a movie. I didn't say I didn't even know there was yeah. The Wall. The Wall. Oh, oh, I gotta check it out. Is it like psychedelic type or no? It's Take just like shrooms. It's it's a mind trip. Yeah. Mind if trip. you watch shrooms, but there's watch some shrooms? So there's some depressing if there's some depressing <laughs> shit in there though, you better be in a good place. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? You better be in a good place. Did you know? On this day in 1980, Shannon Bex from Vanity Kane was born. Happy birthday, Shannon. Hell yeah. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. To ya. Did you know? On this day in 1981, Sean Mills, Mims was born. Happy birthday, Sean. Hi, Mims. This is what Mims. Mims. Happy birthday, Mims. Salute, Mims. That's why he's hot. Yeah. This is why. <laughs> Did you know? On this day in 1994, the soundtrack for the movie Above the Rim was released. Oh. Salute. Did Death we have Row? a song in there? I feel mm. like we did, but maybe we didn't. No, I had I uh, Afro Puffs. That's where Lady Rage debuted. Yeah. That's right. She rocked rough and Yeah, ball. she rocked them rough and puffs. Rocked rough and stuff. After the props. Right. Walk on with your bed, so. Did you know? On this day in 2011, Pharaoh Munch dropped W A R, We Are Renegades. Oh, hell Pharaoh yeah. Munch was dope, bro. One For war. Yeah. He really was big time. Like, he didn't get enough respect. He drops dope. bars. He does. He is. There he goes to Pharaoh Marsh. Yeah. The, the man can write some dope songs, and his bar work is crazy, yeah. and his styles and cadences are, are pff, he really second dope. to none. Dope. Agreed. And did you know we lost the legendary Five Dog on this day oh, in 2016? Yeah, Rest in peace, Five Dog. One of my favorites. The yeah. Five Footer. He was dope, man. Yeah, dude. And microphone I, check. I think it's been two years. No, no. I think two years ago they put out the record. A Hollis family record. For two years now they they uh, they put it on his IG. His last record that he was working on before he passed. Yeah. He he completed a lot of it. Linden so, Linden they put it out. Boulevard. Yeah, yeah, it's out. Yeah. In yeah. Queens, they renamed Linden Boulevard. Oh, oh, so God. so dope. Yeah. Word up, salute. You're on point, tip. Rest in peace. Oh, Tom five. All right, uh, before we go any further, let's check this out. What's up, guys? It's Kelvin from Dr. Green Thumb, West LA. We're here located at 12235 Bullshit Boulevard, just about 15 minutes away from Santa Monica Pier. Uh, we do have some daily deals going on always. We also have 20% off for your first time. So if you guys are in the area, come check it out. Come, see, come say hi to us, all right? Back to you guys at the studio. Thank you, Calvin. Check out our Dr. Green Thumb locations in California when you are in. The state of um and now we're gonna get into submissions what All right, let's get into this here real quick. We got to give a big shout out to Eddie B. Swift. He will be back on Monday, and we want to wish him luck in the Baltimore Blend Battle. Yes, oh, let's go, DJ EBS. Battle competition on Sunday. Salute, Eddie B. Swift. Hey, you're, tell your cousin Taylor we need to use her jet in the next few weeks, son, <laughs> so we can go back and forth from these shows. Tell your cousin Taylor was cracking. Oh, yeah. oh, I really was thinking, like, wait, they're cousins? I mean, I forgot Swift. Yeah. <laughs> hey. <laughs> they are cousins, though. Yeah. No, they're not. Yeah. Uh, yes, they are, man. Are they really? Yeah. Come on. Down. Shut up, Bolton. <laughs> Best of luck. <laughs> EBS. <laughs> He's going to start DJing for her shows coming up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. you're not invited, Blaze. <laughs> <laughs> you know who she looks like? Who she might be related to is Napoleon Dynamite. That's who I think she's like a female. Oh, stop. Food she team. Does. She looks like oh, Napoleon you stop Dynamite. it. Man. All right, next. <laughs> All right, well, <laughs> this one's pretty good. We got uh, Marbell's mother. She sent her pants in. <laughs> oh, she man. sent her pants in to get bleached. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. Oh, man. Oh, man. Yo, that's my daughter you're talking this about. This ain't oh, right, oh, dog. Man. That's you are hilarious. So on that. This ain't right. <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> oh, <Ow>. bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> That was pretty good, though. I'll say that. 
<laughs> What's so funny, Bobo? What was that? <laughs> she had to get her pants bleached. Oh, gotcha. Ah. Yeah. Handle oh. that, Bolt. <laughs> sure. Well, we got Cedric up in here saying, uh, hey, high and hungry warriors, how about some Hong Kong chicken steak and honey Ooh. walnut chicken? Nice. Looks great. Yeah, not bad. Looks good. Real good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Whatever place you went to. Yeah, better. Better. <laughs> I mean, you taking food home right there. Yeah, yeah for you sure. Taking the doggy bag. Yeah. He's all the way in Chicago. Mm, that's that's why he's got good Chinese food. Yep, they got good Chinese food. They do. Stuff. They do over there? Yes, yep. they do. New York mm-hmm. and, and, and Chicago. Itali- and New- Italian food. They do. Chicago's a great. And steaks, dude. Like, Chicago got good food. Yeah, their steakhouses <sighs> are good. Yeah. Jeffro, uh, Cypress Hill. When yeah. you come over there, you got to take them to Chinese. Yeah, There's yeah. a Chinese restaurant in every town, everywhere. Yep. That that's, doesn't, that doesn't that, mean they're good. That's that true. and Thai food. Right. No, but I'm just saying, Oof. there is no town or village where you cannot get your There are many towns. You know, Chinese there's cow food. towns and stuff. There ain't no Chinese food places. Oh, yeah. They got oh, no, they're not. I've been there when I'm like, I need it. Chinese. The one, the one thing about them. But Chinese you're talking to someone who's toured the world in the states over and over. You could tell you that there is. Chinese and I could tell you if I've driven back and forth. But you have times. not been to places he has. Right, but if I've been to places that don't have them, I already just proved it. That's what I'm saying. Mm. Pretty easy. I'm telling. You proved you, you didn't find them. Well, you, you're not there. But you, you know they something. Are. When uh, <laughs> last time I was in a <laughs> last time I was in a Chinese restaurant uh, with my girl. You know, you get the order and everything. They know everything on the menu. So my girl says, uh, "Yeah, uh, how long have you been here? How, when did the building? You know, they stopped the ride there. Like, we don't speak no English. Number then, twelve, number sixteen. Like, we just know everything. Yeah, that numbers. Menu. Yeah. We're gonna play a numbers That's game today, exactly. baby. But you go outside of that, they're like, no, no, no. Number thirteen. No, no. Stop there. <laughs> More sprite. More sprite. No." <laughs> Mm. It's numbers. It, yeah, it is the numbers yeah. game. It is yeah, the numbers it's game. They don't want it. Nothing. They don't. No. Yeah, nope. we don't want to even when try you, to pronounce what you say. Nope. When you order on the phone, it's like number two, number sixteen, whatever, and they'll, they'll tell you like to size. How they don't want to have conversations. Yeah, if you start zero. naming this shit, yeah, they're like, one. "That's right. a number." Yeah. They don't want to have conversation with you. Is it real short? Here's your tea. Here you go. And thank you. Uh, good night. It's only when you want to mess with them when, when you start to, okay, I want the beef teriyaki. Uh, 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 or not teriyaki, but you know, like a Chinese dish. And they're like, no, it's what number is it? Yeah. Yeah, the one with the chicken and the. Uh... Yeah, you have to be careful because I had, I ordered wonton soup. Well, next time I ordered wonton soup, they gave me another kind of wonton soup. War wonton. War wonton. Because you didn't specify the right. number. I says, man, yeah, exactly. I didn't do the number, but I don't, what's a war wonton? It comes with a ton of shit you don't want. That's what it is. <laughs> I swear to God. That's the Regular war. wonton soup, and then like the war has like, you know, tons of stuff. It's only supposed to be uh, the pork, slices, and scallions. That's it. That's regular wonton. What, no, they, no, so what does the other one come with? It, mushrooms, cabbage, like all sorts of oh. stuff. It's just the mess. It's like there. the cornucopia of shit you don't want Correct. in your wonton exactly. soup. Exactly. Yeah. And, and only having two wontons with all that. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, right. let me give you all this shit yeah. with two little wontons. Nah. Well, a spot I go to in, in Long Beach, they got great wontons too. I Perfect. Love. They give you plenty of wontons, nice, you know, veggie selection in there. Not a lot, but, you know, you know, at least like, at least, uh, you know, three different types of veggies in there. I'll tell them, nice. keep them veggies. Give me more pork. And pork. It. Yeah. Yeah, it has yeah. the pork in it and it has, it has pork chicken and shrimp in it you have to be willing to ask them for more they'll yeah. charge you they for will. more but the best thing in new york when you order like you'll say let me have extra chicken they do it like this one dollar extra chicken two dollars so you just have much cool. money yep. so yeah. how much money in extra chicken and you don't know what that translates like if you say let me get three dollars extra chicken bro yeah pile. sometimes there's a, a there's whole a lot pile, and i love that they do that like mm-hmm. you can tell them how many dollars and that's how much extra you get. It's, yeah. This is very simple. That's a good system. Yeah. I, I would say most places you go, doesn't matter if it's fast food or a restaurant or whatever, you have the option or the opportunity, I should say, to order anything that you want as a creation of the menu that's there <coughs> or not. Uh, just remember as you're going custom with your order that you're going to get a custom price because you're ordering something that's not on the menu. they yeah. got to make some shit up. How many times you... You went to a place and gave a custom order, and they just totally ignored them. 
<laughs> oh, yeah, no, they don't <laughs> care. Bomb, man. I got to bring it one up that filled me with rage. When we went to get sushi that day, and we went to Sugarfish. Now, here's my beef. You were filled with rage? Check this out. Yo. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, let's hear it. So, yeah. uh, and are you so sure? Check this out. If you go to a boutique, you know, where the chef is very, like, you got, where well, the way you order it is the way you get it, because he's a meticulous chef, that's the way he wants you to eat it. Sugarfish is a chain, like McDonald's. I asked for ponzu sauce. Right. We can't serve it to you with that dish. I said, excuse they me. They couldn't serve it to you with that dish? They will, with, uh, what's it called? Um, uh, spicy uh, tuna so on rice So they could break cake. you off a little bit of pond. Nope. South. Wouldn't let me. And I was like, in sugar fish, I, I'll crazy. never go back. I was furious. I wouldn't either. I wouldn't you remember either. that, Bobo? I remember that. I couldn't remember. get spicy mayo. You couldn't get this. Nope. I'm remember like, when they brought I'm, the edamame at the table? And with the like, three of them? There were like about four or five. That's it. Five edamame. Hey, on the I remember plate. you guys what talking about this already in the yeah, past. We were pissed. Hey, I remember yeah. going to a sushi spot with, with a homie one time, and he asked for seared, seared tuna, mm. right? Because he's seen it on another sushi menu, and that, that particular sushi said, so we don't sear tuna. Good. You shouldn't. Better. Yeah, well, you know, he didn't. The, the homie didn't right. know any better. But he had like seen the it chef that way. Refused to serve right. him because it changes yeah. the texture, yeah. and it's like the reason they sear it, it lasts. He long. says that don't do that. Yeah, because it's fresh. Yeah. Like, what do you mean you don't do that? I mean, like it's seared tuna. It's simple. He goes, I don't do that. I'm not going to do that. Yeah, you want that? Go somewhere else. <laughs> like straight up like that hell yeah okay i can hear that though like to him it's like you're ruining the fish this is sushi like once you do that it becomes like rubbery on the outside like i don't I, like I, it i'll tell you what that stubborn ass homie never went back to that spot again not. he was like never never again because yeah. <laughs> he couldn't get his little seared tuna but it's not on the menu though right. that is the one thing that's right. just he ain't got hey dog that ain't on the menu yeah, yeah but i see it at other places why can't i get it here <laughs> Because you know you're not new, at other places. It's it's the nuance of everybody has a different style, and if you don't understand right. that, you might generalize it and think like, oh, well, they all. If he could make it, why can't he? Well, go to Japan and find out. You know, I mean, in well, Japan, all the all the restaurants are like specialties to the certain dishes. You know, they might have a couple other things no. on the menu. But they specialize in this one style. Yeah, no, I, I know that, and you know that, and we know that. But <laughs> not everybody knows that when it's like, you know, maybe they're not so new to the experience. I mean, maybe they're not so experienced, right? They're new to it, and they got went to one spot, and they maybe kind of like got something they like, and maybe that one thing was some seared tuna from some yeah. other spot. And he thought, because he has not been to a lot of sushi spots that right. they all do this. There's ah, places that specialize in the right. seared tuna. Right. There's and places that specialize in tempura. And what's crazy. Yoza. What, uh, then let me tell you the crazy part is that homie had been to that sushi spot several times before and never not once asked for a goddamn seared tuna. For some reason, because he went somewhere else one time, came and ha asked for it there, and homie like, was like, we don't do that. Let me right. tell you, you go to a real Japanese restaurant and you ask for like the omasake or whatever, you better be ready to eat some crazy shit because they eat stuff like alive, like in, no. in, in Chinatown, by the way, <clears throat> Chinatown in Queens is way more authentic than Chinatown in Manhattan because even though Chinatown Manhattan's older, it's a lot more touristy. The, the restaurants in Queens, a lot of them, they don't speak English at all, like at all. They won't even try. It's like point to the menu and some of the menus, don't even have English on it. But I, I used to go with friends and they would take shrimp, live shrimp, put them into a, a bowl of wine. You see them flying around in the wine, they grab it by the head and just right away eat it. Right what? by the head, body off, throw yes. the head. They called it, that was the real drunken shrimp. They have them swimming in, a, what's it called, like sake or plum oh, wine. And plum wine, no. For how long? They just, I don't know, they serve them like that. They come out, and they're, like, running in the plate. And you Long enough for the shrimp them. not know it's about to have yeah. its head bitten off? So you no, no, the, the head stays there. The body gets bitten off. Oh. So you, <laughs> wait, so you eat it alive? Yes. And not cooked? Nope. How do you not get sick? And and not deveined. Maybe that's the alcohol. Ah, no deep poop. Yeah, now. oh, you're eating poop. Oh, you're getting all that poop. Oh, yeah, you are. Yeah, but, but maybe the alcohol kills it. Well, the acidity <laughs> usually. You can only hope. The acidity usually cooks dead shrimp. It does, it, like. Yeah. Stuff like, like that, lime. octopus, the lime, you know, yeah, it, the, like the acidity cooks it, but like, does, alcohol does, does, does. does the wine have yeah, acidity it's like No, that? it's not acidity, it's alcohol. Alcohol That's, kills germs, like 
alcohol is a disinfectant. Yeah, but it's still not <coughs> cooked. Though. It's not, you want meat doesn't have to be cooked. You just got to kill the, the bacteria that's on it. Let's say just like meat. You can eat raw meat. You can eat raw chicken. You just got to make sure you, you just But wipe. you can eat raw, raw, raw fish? Yeah, you I've want never parasite. seen anybody do that. Fish. Eat the well, shrimp. I mean, the shrimp. Yeah. Sorry. Sure. Oh. Yeah, just, oh, yeah, absolutely. Parasite. You might even be able to find it online, man. Uh, See, it's terrible. I've like, never I, seen that. They that try. They were like gross, try one. I'm dude. like, absolutely. I'd not. be like, run into the bowl, yeah. bro. <laughs> oh, they fight over the eyeballs on the fish. I'm like, no, no, no. You can have that. I'll it's speak gross. to them. The body meat, please. Man, and then it's still moving as you put it in your mouth. Of course, it's got to be. Yeah, because all those things up, twitch when the. Sput did you ever watch them eat live octopuses? The little one, and you see the. The tentacles grabbing their face. Yeah, oh my God, yeah. Bolton! Please try to find that. No, it is gross. ridiculous. You'll see the thing trying to get out. Yeah, and man. Like pulling on, and they just fight it back in. Sparta. I don't know what the number is, what the percentage of people are who shit themselves when they die, but I guarantee you, as that shrimp is dying, it's taking a shit right. Oh in yeah, your in your mouth. <laughs> yeah. Open that your mouth. Part. With the rest of the shit that's already down in its oh, vein that you didn't get cleaned out. Yeah, no, I, I ain't doing that. I, usually, I don't eat shrimp if it hasn't been deveined. In like yeah, and I'm not trying to, you know, I don't, I'm not trying to be nasty. I'm just saying that's nasty already <laughs> if you just know this. Yeah. Dude, that sounds so insane. Like, yeah, you, you not, want a parasite, you need to eat shrimp just thought, like that. <laughs> the thing that you said, like, when, you know, you die, you usually, you know, you pee in your... You defecate. Know, you yourself, defecate. Yeah. But so... With a shrimp, it's, it's got to be the, the same, same thing. thing, right? Yeah. True that. In your mouth. In right your mouth. In your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> All in your mouth. All right, <laughs> next. When uh, Steptone said to Blaze, you angry? I was thinking, Callie, you should have called this guy to calm down. Motherfucker. Your free call him to quest your free miracle spring water to calm your ass down. I would drown his fucking ass in his, his miracle spring Says wow. God. Yeah. God. That's why he's a skull. Because he uses God to make money off On people. God. Yes. Yes. God. On God. All right, next. We got Christian over here. He's saying, uh, just picked up a spicy chicken sandwich from Pollo Campero. <laughs> Camperos, and, uh, not Cam Camperos. Campero. <laughs> Campero. 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 Hold on. Hold on. We're all trying to say it for him. Let him say it himself. Campero. 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 <laughs> I mean, you know, like you were on your way, but then you thought about it. You have to just let it rip. <laughs> You're making like a me fart. Think a <laughs> like a fart. Campero. <laughs> Campero. Campero. That looks pretty good, right? Yeah. <laughs> Campero. It does look good, Pollo Bolton. Campero. That looks pretty good. All right. There you go. You That's trying. better. At least Campero. <laughs> I won't take Bolton. It, it better than Campero. I won't take Bolton to Tijuana. Look at that. Come we got to leave him there for a month. <laughs> I would have that sandwich He right might now. roll that R. He might yeah. be rolling in Hong Kong and all the Adelitas and all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Like, leave me there with like no cell phone. Like, yeah. no, leave you got to talk to everyone. <laughs> yeah. You're going to be, You're gonna right be like Cheech. In, in uh born in East LA, got left in Mexico trying to get back. You'll figure it out. <laughs> figure it out. All right. All right. Next up in here, let's see here. We got uh oh, we got Kiko from the South. He's saying, yo, my wife cooked up some bacon, rice, broccoli, and of course some born bread. All right. Those born are bread. Those are good healthy portions. Look, you got a lot of broccoli right there, my excellent. That's good for you. Ooh. Looks delish. Bring it. I would probably eat this whole Two rows right here of cornbread. Oh, for sure. <laughs> yeah. I love it. All them wow. carbs. Up. You need them, though. I put corn in the cornbread. I put corn in the cornbread. Let's see here. We got a. Oh, we got Marbell up in here saying Trace invited me to his crib, and I said, oh, What's with all this red shit? <laughs> oh, Trace's, <laughs> Trace's private stash. That's like his yeah. weekly allotment. Yep. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> that Double guy right there. People have wine cellars. He got Coke cellars. Yo, but what stuff I heard him saying it was not. False. Like soda drinkers can knock back a twelve pack in a day. Yeah, it's no problem. Nothing. True. Yeah. Nothing. Yep. It, like it's nothing. Yeah. I knew two or three people. Yeah, were, uh, we had a homie like, named Gator that used to roll with the Soul Assassins. He was yeah. like a little dude, and he could knock down a twelve pack in a day easy. Crazy. Wow. Yeah, yeah. That was always wild to me, man. I could never drink because we weren't allowed to have it, so I'm not used yeah. to. But two in a day was a lot, you know. Yeah, like, there's some people. That was this person I knew that <clears> drunk. Dr. Pepper in the morning, like it was oh coffee. Yeah, Mars no. Gump drank 13 God. when he was at the White House. How the hell? Yeah, yeah how do you? 
You can't start oh, your man. day like that. Oh, he did. Man. He did. <laughs> you talk to us as he's on a 12 pack of do a day. He sure did. He sure you're did. You're dying, bro. Yeah, that's not good. Mm-hmm. Hawk, you're not going to be with us for a year until you keep drinking yeah. those. You won't Diabetes. be around next Diabetes year. Diabetes is going to creep up on your ass with some shit like that, man. Like I remember badass. having like two, three of the double gulps from 7 Eleven, like a Mountain Dew or Dr. Pepper, like, you know. Mountain Dew. But that was as a kid, though, right? No, this is like in the last 10 years. What? <laughs> Oh my wow. God! I haven't had soda for oh, wow. probably about a year now. Well, there you go. That's a good start. Yeah, no, I've been, I, I, I mean, I've had some sips, but right. I've never had a whole soda, and uh, and I definitely don't drink. Like I said, two or three big double gulps. That's nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Trace I used to that. as a kid. I would drink a lot of those, but yeah, no. Nah, as an adult, I let go of the sodas a long time ago. Yeah, no, I. I'm AM, PM. I've big, broken giant my spell ones. on those. Mm. What's to drink me about? Man. Dr. Peppers. Dr. Peppers, Pepsis. Pepsi in my household. My yeah. mom loved it. Oh, you're a Pepsi house, huh? Yeah. I'm saying a soda drinker drinks every soda there is. I drank it all. Like, what, again, that's why 12 a day, that wasn't a thing. Yeah. Cream soda, grape, orange, root beer. Ooh, because, root beer. Root beer. because having, like, I mean, if you're just talking 12 ounce cans, you know, you could pound one soda, like, almost in a full drink, generally speaking. <laughs> And then crack another one, and that's the one you slow down on. But yeah, you know. yeah. Hey, slow down on your soda intake. All right, yeah. uh, you know, yeah. don't uh, be excessive. Next, we got Bryce up in here saying an oldie but a goodie. Bogenics keeps me going strong. Oh. Bogenics, yeah. <laughs> Bogenics. Bobo's yeah. Bobo's gonna come out with a new cycling version pretty soon. <laughs> strong tone. <laughs> Bogenic X X X. Pedal to the Gen X. <laughs> Gen X! <laughs> a great pick. All right, next up in here, let's see here. We got Chev up in here saying Snacks has been spotted having his breakfast this Ooh. morning. Ooh. That's in Queens, by the way. That's Forest Hills. That's the Jackie Robinson Parkway right below it. He is grubbing. Yeah. Look at the that. The mouse is like, damn. Uh, I seen the video. I damn, saw rat right there. That looks crazy, man. The way that the bird looks like, you know, yeah. yeah I want to eat you now. <laughs> yeah, you know, someone got him. There's a video of that. That's how I know it is. That's a big ass rat. Yep. If you want to pass Cypress Hill Cemetery, that's what you take. They used to be called the Interboro. Now it's the Jackie Robinson. You take that like three more exits, and then you're in Cypress Hill Cemetery. Boom. Yeah. That rat's body was bigger than that hawk's body. That uh, that that hawk had a feast jumping off. Oh, right he's there. getting all oh, day. Those rats are good eating in the city. Yeah. Look at that. It's like a s- small dog. Oh, that that rat was eating. Like a well, now the hawk is eaten. <laughs> the hawk. Snook. All right. All right. Next. We got Chev again saying, got high as hell last night and saw Dave Grohl on my kettle. <laughs> <laughs> that is That's pretty good. good. Hell yeah, brother. At least you didn't oh, say Jesus. Wow. It looks like Jesus. It does. Well, you know. I think. What their representation of, you know, I what they Jesus. pushed on us. Mm-hmm. Of what Jesus was supposed to look like. Yeah, because Jesus was <laughs> blonde haired so, and blue eyed from the Middle East. Yeah, so I'm going to go with Dave Grohl on this. <laughs> yeah, it's very Dave Grohl ish. Okay, what I'm going with dark haired Jesus. <laughs> what were you taking, man? I mean, I can see something there, too. <laughs> I could it's see it, right? I could see it. I, it I see both. Yeah. Definitely. It's right? Fun. I see the bass player from uh, Spinal Tap. <laughs> <laughs> there you okay. go. That's the one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, next I up see in here, Kenny we got, all grown up. We got Dab Waxington, and uh, he's showing off uh, some, let's see here, some fire rosin from Honey Butter Rosin. I've been dabbing on this garlic juice. Yeah, nice fresh press, bro. Yeah, it looks good. Yes, it does. Trips, mm. right. Just such a bitch to jar up. Yeah. Nice, very clear, very nice. Excellent. Indeed. We got Mizzle up in here saying, yo, B. Yeah. Did you hear about the L.A. Dodgers fire Otani's interpreter? Yes, the interpreter um, ran up a four-point-something million-dollar debt in gambling. What? And Otani was going to bail his ass out, apparently, or at least that's what the interpreter said. And they're trying to figure out how he moved $4.5 million from Otani's account. He's a ninja. That's what I was going to ask. How do you get access to the money to well, do because, that? Because this guy was like his guy on day one coming to the Angels, like his interpreter, uh-huh. and they became friends. So, you know, he now and then looked out for him 
Wow. And now but no, you know, so himself. at first he was saying that Otani felt bad for him, so he bailed him out. And then, like, Otani's people were like, nah, this dude embezzled some money or, like, oh. took money to pay off his debts. And, Ooh. you know, they're trying to figure out, like, okay, how did he get access to that? That's a lot of money to have access to. Yeah. 4.6 million. Million. Yeah. Well, homie just messed up his own bag. Though. Well, he's he's just, done. He's, he's done. done. Uh, Dodgers fired him. He ain't gonna get no go job jail, nowhere. Yeah, he embezzled it. He's gonna he's, go to jail. He's most likely gonna go to jail. Yeah. Yeah. Um, unless like he signed over like a power of attorney to allow him to do it. Like, no, nah, he didn't advisor. do that. Well, then he's going to jail. Yeah. Dang. Yeah. yeah. He's. I mean, you know, Tani may not press charges on him because you know he. You don't have to. The boy. district attorney will. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm saying Wire that fraud. that'll be the way that he goes to jail is yes. if the district attorney comes and says, "Well, we're gonna try his ass anyway." Dang. Um. Yeah. Four point something million dollars of gambling debt. Ouch. Wow. Dude. Ow. He wasn't just playing Keno. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. He was no, he, he they were saying he was betting on, on MLS and, and um soccer games and, wow. and things like this, but he never bet on baseball. And then he said, I didn't know this wasn't legal. Oh, but man. sports betting they online. They love that. Hold on. And sports betting online. In California is not legal, really. Yeah. What do you supposedly. mean? Supposedly, like they're like the, the what he was doing, the way he was oh. betting, was not legal. Oh. Because you know we have the stupid like DraftKings and all. Yeah, that but that in stuff. California, it's not. They didn't accept it in California. Like they don't that. now because like apparently them. it was yeah. on the news. I don't know. No, I believe you. I'm just saying. I see those stupid ads, and I hope it's illegal because, bro, the, this generation, like you know, gambling. Well, the tribes are, were trying <clears> to keep that illegal because it like affects all the casinos all right. the the yeah. native casinos and stuff like that so they were trying to get that initiative of sports betting online right. here out and gotcha. i think it passed they didn't in california okay i i hope here so. it goes right here look there yeah, this go. is from their website oh yeah there you go <laughs> DraftKings because i see the commercials all the time i'm glad to see they run the ads good. but but we we can't, can't access use them here <clears throat> good because literally that's really fucking up like the new generation. You got these young kids that are betting once they can because it's right going on their broke. phone, going broke. And they say literally gambling is supposed to be one of the hardest things to quit. Like the relapse yeah. rate, higher than heroin, higher than meth. Like they always wind up and they lose it all. You know? Yeah, so homeboy's going, he's, he's, he's facing some crazy shit. So Dear. all right, next one. All right, we got this sent in. Uh, yo, B, what do you think of this dog leash? <laughs> oh my dog. god that's great that is definitely awesome. plastic but i could walk awesome. my little ass dog around you should that would be great <laughs> cool he's walking killer Dude. yeah that's come on killer he's on, vicious killer. man stay back <laughs> protected by viper i'm gonna say his his name then, is viper yep. protected. protected by viper stay back god Dude. those were so annoying but so cool for about a year you right. know like when they came out like it was cool and then it was annoying as shit after that come on killer kill Killer kill, B. <laughs> killer, killer kill. kill. <laughs> that was hilarious. Yeah. Uh, we got Will up in here saying, oh, yeah, thanks to you guys. It's RSO time. Yeah. Bang. Yeah. Do it. Enjoy. That's, Do it. That's enough to splash you out Oof. thoroughly. For a couple of days. Way more than that. Yeah. <laughs> got any sense. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. All right. You got any sense. Be careful. Be careful. And enjoy. Yep. Right. That's right. I was going to say, Bobo, I don't think we showed this yet. Uh, Red Matic must have got you some cookies or something. <laughs> oh, Red Matic tried to get you back? Is that what happened? Oh, yeah. Son? Son. What are you giving me, son? He's like, have those. Yeah, those are for you. Eat one. <laughs> no, you're good. Go ahead. Oh, you're good. Yeah. That's <laughs> he great. Said, Look at his face. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Face. Bring it. <laughs> is that is that at the uh at the dj school yeah the yeah. beat junkie yeah that's fucking vengeance on his mind right there he that's wants to say, so no great. no no have a cookie bobo yeah Fuck have another glass days. no 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 no. have a cookie Eat that if cookie. you don't have this cookie if we gonna have a problem you see yeah. we were about to rehearse and everything he was trying to get me <laughs> you know yeah, they are. He, he, it didn't work. He didn't realize that that was like zero threat to you. I looked. Yeah, like Bobo's tolerance is extremely high. Oh, this is nice. 
<laughs> this is real cute. Oh, this is cute. <laughs> Thank you. you. Got any more? This is cool. <laughs> is, is this all? Is this all? Is this all? <laughs> <laughs> if you insist. It seems there's a disparity. <laughs> this isn't going to do. Oh, <laughs> this will not do. All right. All right, next up in here, we got Mars Fu, and he's saying, uh, yo, I got this book, Horton Hears a Woo! Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. That's cool. They well done. Well done. Woo! <laughs> I'm talking about so many well dones. We got Jason saying, yo, guys, ate a little bit of mushrooms and watched a little bit of Dave Chappelle. Always good. I have this ah. scene on several times, and it's still funny as hell. Can't stop watching yeah. it. Yeah, those are two classic ones right there. Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm glad that y'all know which one it is, but don't play it. <laughs> Flags. Sir! We got Jason again saying the Bass Masters Classic. Can't wait to get back on the water myself to fish tournaments this year. Right on. Um, but to get fired up for every bass anglers that fishes tournaments, uh, this is a dream. He's saying 49 anglers competing for $300,000. Right on, man. Good luck, man. Go get it. For fishing? Yeah, fishing. for bass fishing. Yeah, well, you throw them, it's huge. You bro. throw them back in, though. Yeah, it's, but they, it's the weight. release, right? Yeah. But they have to be verified first. You have to have to be weighed. So yeah, weighed measured, and measured, yeah. Correct. And it has, I don't know, like different ones. A lot of these you actually have to bring the fish in. You you don't. And I think it's, it's the number of catches, too. N well, there's right? different pots. Usually the biggest pot is the biggest fish. That's yeah. always the, the big really? prize. Yes. And they're like, because that's like the, they're big, bro. Fishing tournaments, there's something called the, uh, the Bisbee, okay? It goes on usually in Cabo or Costa Rica. The Jungle Boys own a boat called Estella June, and they won this year. You know what the top prize was? Four million. Wow. It's like a $200,000 entry or something like that, but it's always three, four million for the first place. And it's usually for uh, Marlin. I think it's Marlin. That's so pretty I'm, good. Is that wow. crazy? Not bad. But you got to put in 200 bands. You got to put in. Well, you yeah, people, money. when you think you're going to, you know, like if you, yeah. but you get on your game, the potential is four million. And not just yeah. that, the first like <clears throat> five or 10 prizes pay over. So if you place fifth, you made money, you'll get like right. $500,000 prize. Yeah. All right. It's crazy. Yeah. Uh, all right, what else you got? We got Utah Hawk saying about 20 miles out of Ben Dover, Nevada. This is the Money Tree Desert Sculpture with good luck. Aton was just real estate shopping in Ben Dover. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, unprovoked. <laughs> Unsolicited. Come on, unprovoked. He's saying he's a gambling <laughs> holiday for March Madness. March Madness. <laughs> All right. Look at that. That's cool. Utah Hawk. That's a good luck thing, a tree? Hell yeah. Go bring home the bacon, baby. It's a cell phone tower in disguise. Oh, There's yeah. a tree. Yeah, yeah. probably is. Yeah, no. Five P, dude. This is the one ass tree out there. No, it's a cell phone tower. In Bend over. <laughs> in Bend over, Las Vegas. Because they fucking you, son. All right. All right. Uh, what else? Get some. <coughs> Get some. <laughs> I'm in no way, shape, or form. Rockin' with Trader Truth, aka King Truth. What up? It's Nate No Face. We're here on Be Real TV, the Dr. Green Thumb Show, the highest show in the world. Hey, man, it's on BP, and I'm here fucking with Dr. Green Thumb. What's up, guys? It's Nick Tucker here. We're here at the Dr. Green Thumb Show. It's your girl, Tammy, aka the Cannabis Cutie, and I'm at the Dr. Green Thumb Show, the highest show in the world. What's up? Who? Felipe Esparza here. I'm about to be on a Dr. Green Thumb Show. The highest show in the world. Fuck everybody else. Fuck everybody. Fuck Willie Parsena. Fuck that fool and his dead that lazy eye. I'm just kidding. I'm not here to start trouble, dog. It's <laughs> here for all the trouble. Yeah. So, so, uh, we're about to open up the doors to the insane asylum. That means y'all got a comment, question, shout out, suggestion. Let's do it. Welcome to the insane asylum. All right, let's do this. We got Azteca up in here saying, started out BMX riding, then I transitioned to skateboarding in 1999. Since then, I've been skating on and off. All right. How about you guys? Keeping up on the board? I have not skated in a long time, <laughs> nor do I want to. I want to, but I'll just fall over if I jump on a skateboard right now. Never like, skateboard. Oh! It's been a couple years for me, but I'm anxious. I just got to get new wheels and bearings. I got like 
three I, new skateboards. You stay off those skateboards. That I, do not wear. I, I gotta get new knees, new yeah. stronger muscles. You keep on that bike. I'm keeping on the bike. Yeah. Yo, we need to get Bobo on the board. There's no way, no. Captain Sciatica. You be quiet up no there. Way. <laughs> you just admire those boards, Bobo. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> We got Slappy asking, hey, Steph Tone, Night Party is one of my favorite Death Tone songs. What's the story with the crazy screaming female vocals on that track? Uh, that was um, <clears throat> a friend of Chino's at the time and uh, really enjoyed her style and he thought that would fit really nice right there and it really fit yeah. really nice right yep. there. Is her name Rodlene? Yeah, that's Rodlene. Yo, Rodlene. We, did, we had her we at, at, at Club Flavor. We had her there for a night. She did a solo thing. Yeah. It was, it was wild. She did all of that. That's her style. Yeah. Yeah. It, it was, was really, wild. It was really cool. She does her ting, man. Yeah, she mm -hmm. hits them real high notes in her, yeah. in her screaming. That's her, that's her specialty. Yeah, screeching, breaking glass. Yeah, for real. Break that glass. All right. All right. We got to give a happy birthday shout to Gorilla Strong. He's 46 years old hey. today. It's 46. Happy Hell 46. yeah. Good. Happy birthday, man. Yeah. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Mid-40s crew. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Party your ass off, all right? Party you know, your body. With the ones that uh, you know you love and they got love for you, don't be having those halfway love motherfuckers around you, man. All right? Mm -hmm. Only the 100s. <laughs> Stay strong, Gorilla Strong. Hell yeah. We got a E up in here saying screwdriver vodka and orange juice, Holmes. That's my favorite. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, That's a classic. Yeah. It is. it is. Yeah. You know what's so funny? Never ever drank mixed drinks, always neat. The only one I would drink was that was vodka and, and orange. No soda. Like soda and liquor. Uh, the bubbles I can't just neat. No ice, just neat. But I used to love screwdrivers that. were okay. I used to love grapefruit and vodka. Ooh. I used to cranberry love, and vodka was good. I used too, to love like. cran and vodka, and I used to love all three of those but in Captain Morgan. Vodka like goes vodka goes good with a lot of things. That's the good thing with about vodka. It's not necessarily like gin. Where Did gin you like the like, like Jack and Coke type of thing? Did you Ooh, do that? Yeah, like, yeah, the, the Jack oh, yeah. Coke, but more <laughs> like more Jack and Seven Up or Jack and Sprite <clears throat> or Jack and um, ginger ale. Yeah, still I, bubbles. I have I, something about it, man. I recommend some Captain Morgan and orange juice. It's an orange Julius. It's delicious. That my, don't sound bad to tell you the truth. Oh, yeah, it's my, that no, bad. that don't sound bad. I used to love Crown and Coke. That's Crown like a Jack and Coke. Yeah, it's like a Jack and Coke, exactly. but it's just, you know, I'm, different taste. I'll That's tell you black what, tooth grand, baby. I'll tell you what would be a good one for you. Like, I, I mean, I know you guys don't yeah, drink, but, but if you got rum, you mm -hmm. put um, ginger ale with a splash of like, um, what, what what was it we were putting in there? Pomegranate juice. Pomegranate. And, and the and the vodka. I love rum, like, man. Rum or, or rum. Rum or vodka with yeah. those two things. The Bacardi, with the ginger ale and the uh, the cranberry or, or ginger ale and, and uh, pomegranate mm. with, with, with whatever you're gonna have, whether it's the Dang. vodka or rum, either oh, way, oh, 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 they're oh. bomb. You like dark or light rum? Uh, light. Light. I'll do the dark, too, but I like the lighter rum better. All right, next. We got a crazy main asking, be real. Do you think the Lakers will get Jason Tatum? If if the Celtics don't win this year, which I hope they don't, um, because I'm a Lakers fan, and you know it's the race to 18. It's you know If y'all wasn't racing to 18, I could give a shit if the Celtics win or not. You know what I mean? Um, but if he don't, if they don't win it this year, this is their best chance. They got a really good team. They're like kicking ass on the Eastern Conference. <coughs> um, maybe, maybe they got a chance. But if he wins a ring with the Celtics, he ain't never gonna become a Laker. Um, he's a Kobe fan. He he grew up like as a Kobe disciple. Watched and loved the <laughs> Lakers. Um, what a. But if he wins a championship in the Celtics uniform, he's not coming to the Lakers. Ever. You know. Well, I, I, I can't say that because I don't think so. You don't want him as a as a as I would a love Celtics him. loser though. No, I would take him as as a either way, right? Well, it's better but, that he's a Celtics winner. No, but you're not understanding what I'm saying, Steph. <laughs> right? If he if he loses, he'll be frustrated for being there for so long, and he'll want to change. And if he came to the Lakers, we'd all embrace him. Nobody would be like, "Oh, you're a loser because you lost with the Lakers." I uh, mean, with the Celtics. with the Celtics. Oh yeah. No one would. Think about it that way. I'm saying, though, if he wins with the Celtics, there's no reason for him to leave to become a Laker. The only reason he would is if he got frustrated there 
the other team he'd probably want to play for is the Lakers because he was a Kobe fan. He was a Lakers fan. Mm -hmm. Well, Kobe was here. Um, he's just now playing for the biggest rival of of Kobe and the Lakers. Which is know? what I'm saying. I said, wouldn't that be amazing to get a ring from each of those two teams? <laughs> it would. You know what I, I mean? That's why I think he would do it. Be like, he could Damn. like do something that would have never been considered in the past. Yeah, but they would offer him so much money to stay there. But and maybe make him like make more him, in LA. They would make him a pivotal piece and look to retire his jersey up there, like make him the ultimate Celtics franchise player. You know, and, and they don't want to do LA no favors by letting him go to LA. The only way he would be able to go to LA is like, you know, if he was a free agent, non restricted. I mean, isn't LeBron got championships with three teams now? Yeah, he sure does. You know what I'm saying? But what I'm saying is, you know, the rivals of any one of those teams didn't let him go to their rival team. You know what I mean? It's their rivals, ultimate. They're all. No, I get it. I, which is why I'm saying that actually makes to me seems like it would be more attractive. I could see him being a Laker, but I can't see him being a Laker if they win. They will look to secure his future in Boston, is what I'm saying. And he would have to really. Oh, yeah, just, there's no doubt about it. He'd that. want to leave winning or losing. And you know who knows? I mean. I mean, they're building something down there, and sometimes that means more than to go on onto a team that you snap right into and win a championship with. Either way, what's up? We got to uh, oh, hold on that. one second. Oh no, I was just gonna say, I what I really, as a person that's not as, as much into sports, I sports trip, I, I trip on like how deep that rivalry is between the Lakers and oh, and yeah. the Celtics. You know what I mean? Like off top, you were just like, nah, homie, just like. Oh yeah, like if if, sport if, if, if Celtics fans come to crypto, right? Um, it's LA an East fans, West thing. LA fans give it to them. Yeah, it's an East West thing. They, it's they, usually division as well. It's you know? it's not East West thing. It's because Boston has had kicked our ass through from the '60s through the '70s consistently in championship games. And when we won our first championship as Lakers, it wasn't against Boston. We had to get those later on in the 80s. I mean, it's like New York and Boston. So, so, right, so, but that's so, divisional. So, so there's always been a rivalry between the Boston, Boston Celtics and the Los right. Angeles Lakers because of those early ass whoops. Right. Right. We caught up in the 80s and 90s. You yeah. know what I mean? And that's why they're the two most celebrated and rivaled franchises because they're in the chase to be – Ahead of each other. Right now they're fucking dead tied, seventeen and seventeen. Yeah. On the chase for eighteen. And it looks like the Celtics got more line to it right now because they're just, you know, they seem to be playing better than we have the whole season. But I'm saying once again to that question, yes, we would take Jason Tatum, but it would take for them to lose uh this season and just blow it <laughs> for him to maybe question his 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 the rest of his career in Boston. Next. Next up in here, we got uh, Jay. He's saying, damn, I thought I missed this show. Um, forgot about it late Fridays. Let's get it. Everybody, same team. Same team. Hey, look, you don't know, just go in your Apple calendar right now and say, hey, Siri, reminder, Dr. Green Thumb show starts at 5 p.m. on Friday. That's right. Or keep Siri out of it. Just remember. <laughs> look at she her. listened. <laughs> look at her. She's over here. Look at she's talking. She's riffing. <laughs> Okay. Tell me how many your how many of your um how many were activated right now when I said that. Stop being nosy, Siri. Hey, she just said, you know, hey, would you like to play? End of line. My Siri only listens to me. <laughs> we got a my favorite stash, my weed, saying salute to the highest show. Any plans to bring the dispensary to Southwest Missouri? Missouri. Uh, yeah, it's possible. I mean, you know, when when city and state at a time michigan and uh is up next and fresno as well um but yeah kansas love, city yeah, Mo. love to open up in missouri uh shout to uh bonita 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 thank you so much for your super chat apple bottom thank apple you bonita. Bottom. apple bomb bonita. we got apple william bottom. up in here saying uh in florida they run people's mug shots on the local cable channel wow. if you got a warrant ticket child support it's live on channel five <laughs> Wow. Gangsta wow. shit, put you on blast. I know that uh, out there in Texas, they have like a little like a free like 
magazine. And it's dance? all mug shots. Wow. Like all of them. You know, the whole the whole thing. I bet yours is in there like three times. It was. It was. I was on the website. Oh, they took me down. The infamous but, Eric Bobo. I didn't Bobo. do it. I didn't do it. The infamous Eric Bobo. Oh, you hush. I got my I got my Trump mugshot mug. <laughs> mug shot mug. The mug shot mug. Right on. All right. Makes sense. Come on. That's like first time in history. That's legend. It's ironic. He's like, that's legend. His mug on the mug shot. <laughs> He's the only president with a mug shot. Or his mug shot on the mug. Sorry. That's true. It's true. Yeah. All right. Next. All right. We got a rose up in here asking if you guys remember this beer. Uh, the Tequiza, yeah. 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 Yep. That wasn't a bad beer. It just right. had like a wasn't hit the It wasn't great, but it wasn't bad. Yeah. What were you saying, C? It's just like beer with a hit of tequila in it, right? That's what it was? No, tequila well, yeah. flavor. Flavor. Yeah. Flavor of it. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. oh, yeah. and, and it would have a little twist of lime. Yes. Yep. All right. Which I didn't mind because I used to drink a lot of, you know, whatever beer I was going to drink. If it wasn't the stout, I'd be like popping lemons up in them. It had neither Corrales. tequila or lime in it, though. Yeah. It was just a flavoring. Yeah, yeah, it was just a flavoring. But, you know, you could cheat it and just drop the shot in there. Bam. True. Just be like, you know what? Let me have this for real. Bring it. Just <laughs> I'm sure there's some kind of drink where you have a beer with a shot in it. Yeah. You Plenty know, of car bombs. Irish, 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 Irish car bombs. But that's bro. different. That's different than, like, you know, tequila and uh, yeah, of course. And, and a beer. Yeah. You could do it, though. I mean, why not? Yeah, yeah. 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 Thanks. Rose is also saying uh, we used to drink that in my is it Rosarito days? Yep, oh, yeah. Rosarita. Rosarita. Rosarito. Rosarito. We got M Kush G up in here saying, uh, "Yo, Cali Blaze, are Yo. you going to have shirts or hoodies tomorrow?" Um, maybe I can bring a couple T-shirts. I don't have hoodies, but I might be able to bring some shirts. Bring it. We got Kiko from the South up in here saying uh, we can't access porn in Texas I don't due to no. the uh, restrictions. Wow. Yeah, Pornhub is You have is to like blocked. put your ID in wow. to watch porn in Texas. Okay, so if you're old enough, you can. So is that what it is? Kids, probably, yeah. Right? Yeah, because no. You People gotta move an, out of town. Oh, so it's not free. Like, you got to be an adult. Yeah. I'm that's pretty fine. sure that none of these restrictions matter if you've got a good VPN. Oh, yeah, yeah that's you what got, it says. Exactly. If you have a VPN, you can yeah. do whatever you want. Yeah, none of this means anything. But if you're an average sure. kid with a, an iPhone, it's gonna be, you're going to be whacking off the fucking Sears magazines like we were when we kids. You know, it's crazy because, like, during the <laughs> Nah, they could just go on IG. Of course. During, during the pandemic, right, <clears throat> I was out there in Texas. They had the, the drive through strip club thing. Yep. So you mm -hmm. yeah. drive through. That's right. and the drive through strip kids. club. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Peep show, yeah. Yeah, gotcha. the peep show yep. thing. And then you're driving hey, through yeah. and everything. I'm like, come on now. If yep. they had food to like go with it, like, oh, let me get that order of chicken strips. And yeah. Like, a couple lap dances. That's oh, right. a couple, couple window dances. You're going to splooge out in your car. Is that what you're telling me? Just want to eat some chicken food. and get a lap dance. All over your steering wheel. Oh, oh bye. <laughs> ah. <laughs> take that, take that. No. No, 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 no. Not on the fries. Here, let me put no, this, no. Let me, let me put this <laughs> on the preview for you guys. Oh, that's on oh, Here it at. goes, yeah. It's on the preview, so we're good. Here, let me wash your windows with this ass. I was this. like, what? Yeah, get your booty hole juice off my window. I don't know. Oh, yeah. But look, they don't even touch, really. No that, schmearing no. on my window. Oh, this is during pandemic, right? Yes. Yes. Nice. Yes. This is not a bad idea, though. Not. No. And it was it was working. I mean, yeah. I, never, I never went. I Magic. never went, but... Yeah, okay. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I think on general principle. He's the first one that knew about we it. Would all hit, we, we, yeah, we would hit this, this drive through strip club on GP. I was about Just to say, cause. imagine your way home, you girl's like, where are you? Hun, I'm in the, I'm in the drive through I'll call you back. Call you back. You didn't tell You're not <laughs> lying. Right. No, exactly. No, I'm in the right. drive through so I'm in the drive through Let me Can you be you mad back. at someone that went to the strip club? Hey, you were in the drive through for a long yeah. time. I wouldn't be mad at you. Oh, if you the, went line, the line, the was, strip, the strip club that was a drive-through. The line was crazy. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, it was out the door. Yeah. All right, yeah. next. Hopefully, there's a McDonald's next to it. Hit oh. the McDonald's, then the strip club. Oh, you're double lining yeah. there. All <laughs> right. Let me get that chicken strips. All we right. got uh, Eric V up in here saying, "Can I get condolences for my mom, Becky Valdez?" Hey, condolences, condolences, Becky. Condolences. Rest in peace and, and prayers to you and your family. Yeah, rest for the loss. Yes, rest, rest in peace. Very tough loss, man. But for real, strip clubs got really good food. 
what are you, my friend, Gus? This guy lets you call me. Who are you doing for lunch? Oh, we're going to strip club? No, I don't want <laughs> chicken fingers and nipples. I mean, like, uh, there were buffets. He was like, oh, great buffet. Hey, I'm like, buff- bro. Let me be so, honest. I have, we didn't even <laughs> give that a second to breathe. Yeah, yeah for real. <laughs> but, but next. I will say, I've been to a couple strip clubs that have some bomb buffets. So, yeah. Steak and lobster, baby, surf and turf. Uh, best chicken strips I've ever had in Atlanta. Coconut <laughs> shrimp. Yeah. We got hybrid cypher saying, yo, I saw DJ Muggs at the Jazz Cafe in London. It was incredible. This yeah, I hear he's oh, been dope. selling shows out out there in Europe. Yeah. Oh, gee. He's been doing it, man. Yeah. People. He's been doing his body tricks on DJ and Oh, he can man. still do it, he, man. He'd man. be coming in front and like, oh, man, I've been DJing it a lot of times. He gets yeah, on there right. and he's like master level again. No yeah, problem. Dude. Oh, gee. Salute. Uh, yeah, they've been sending me clips from the road like that he's been smashing it out. Salute to DJ Muggs. Salute. If you haven't checked this show and it's coming to your city, go check it out. And the appetizers and sides? Mm. You hungry, Steph? Yeah, oh, man, for sure. Yeah, it seems <laughs> like it. All right, next. We got the Pope up in here saying, I changed my legal name to Joshy Blaze today. All right. Hey, congrats, Joshy right, Blaze. Joshy Blaze. I don't know about the. I don't think he did it. Joshy Blaze. Yeah, send your driver li- driver's license. That's right, Paul. See that. Want proof. J Blaze. Oh, J- yeah. How about That's better. That? That's better. J That's Blaze. Better. Yeah. All right, there you go. We got to ask a bum. He's saying, "Yo, B, I need my tires mounted." What the oh. fuck you want me to do about it? <laughs> yeah, go suck yourself. What do we look at? The tire shop? <laughs> fuck to him. Jeez Louise. Oh, oh, the jacket. Oh, yeah. Shirt. All right. Yeah, the work oh, shirt. I get just it. Got it. I All right. Yeah, I, I'll uh, get my crew on it immediately. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, yes. Yeah. Sports. <laughs> You already just told him to go imagine, suck himself. But, but, yeah. Could you imagine like, <laughs> going over there to uh, you know get your car service? Yeah, could you help me out with uh, the tire thing? What do you want me to do? You don't answer that. <laughs> go suck yourself. Go suck yeah, yourself. Go suck what do you want me to do? Suck your mama. Go suck your mama. Yeah, so- oh, yeah, you, That's you if know. I went to go get a tire, one of my tires fixed today, and I'm chilling in the, the lobby right there or the lounge. Hey, sir, uh, I haven't had service yet. <laughs> yeah, go fuck yourself. Me neither. I'd say, yeah, go get your wife. I'm looking for service. Oh, no, that's yeah. not what I would have oh, done. Oh, oh, that's, oh, that's, I, come on. Oh, next one. <laughs> <Yeah>, next. <laughs> And we got a, uh, let's see here. We got Mr. Johnson. He's saying, yo, what's your guys' favorite song ending? Favorite song ending? What do you Come mean? on. Favorite I don't have time song. to even think about that. Favorite God song damn. ending. The one that ends with, go suck yourself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. Uh, song ending? Um, no idea. Uh, the end of any album? album? Because <laughs> oh. it, it's over. Um, <laughs> uh, you know, maybe uh, Biggie. Um. Was it warning? Warning. Ooh, okay. Hold on. I hear somebody coming. Yeah. That's a great ending. And then, yeah, but then he got Puffy whispered in his ear. Yeah, then he got his head blown off. Head? What's yeah. that, you know? What's that red dot? Yeah. Saying nasty. Hey, there's a red dot on your head. How about it like Oh, a- shit. There's a red dot on your head, too. Oh, shit. Puffy probably had his thumb in someone's butt when that was oh. happening. <laughs> that was uncalled for. All right. Uh, I was gonna ask, what about like a really good rock ending? Is there like a good rock solo that ends really good? Uh, yeah, the end of Eruption, the only the yeah. best guitar solo in history. Yeah, yeah dude. Yeah, that, yeah. I can't argue that. That is a mm-hmm. fucking good one. Yeah. Uh, the most famous guitar solo in all of guitar solos. It is. There is no better. Yeah. Bad heaven forever. For and then sure. what's it come back in with? You really got you me. Really got me. Yeah. Happy. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. He, he did the full. Yeah. Yeah. He's a guitar player. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, no, that was a bass move. Oh, true that. Yeah. yeah. I'll say the end I thought of right now is uh, X Y U Smashing Pumpkins Melancholy. Who? who what? Huh? X Y U off the Melancholy record for Smashing Pumpkins. It's a real heavy record where he screams and then it goes into this heavy riff at the end. Okay. Like, how does it go? Oh, I'll say it for you. <laughs> I'll recreate it for you with I'll imagination. Re- the very last <laughs> song on Meshuggah Chaos Fear. Mm. All right. It's like every riff on the record at once. Wow. All right. All right. Next up in here, we got Mike asking uh, any thoughts on the new future song featuring Kendrick? I have not heard it, but I heard about it. Is yeah. that the one and that he disses? Yeah, well, yeah. Well, Just, he's saying it ain't about the three, it's about me. Basically. Saying that I'm king right now. And 
I, I would say that a lot of people would agree with that. Like, out of the and big three right now, which is, um, uh, let's just, in not any particular order, I'm just mentioning the three. There's Drake, there's J. Cole, and Kedrick. Okay. Now, if you ask people, a lot of them will say in the order of Kendrick, um, Cole, and Drake. Wow. And in some circles, they'll say Drake, Cold and Kendrick. I'd go yeah. opposite. In in Cole, another yeah. Kendrick Drake. It's also a subjective, but like I would say, yeah. For me it would be it would be um Kendrick, Cole, and Drake. Yep. That's I'd probably most there. people I bet is for me it would be yeah. it would be uh Sorry, I'm just I'm glitching on the names and I don't want to say it wrong, but I would say Kendrick would be like the more the the greater the more artistic right j cole is more the you know the the well more commercial you know and then drake that's snake yeah i i just anytime i i think of drake's uh, his name i always i always blank out on him because i don't really listen to him much but but i'm just saying like I, i would think that drake would be like the most like the number one well because of just, it, like, numbers. In terms of the pop aspect, probably him. But, like, Kendrick is just on a different, in a different space. But they're all huge, and, you know. They're, they all they're have all, their own style, for sure. They're all dropping yeah. their own styles and dropping bars within themselves. So yeah, but Drake, yeah. Drake would probably win because he could probably rap with his dick, too. So he would probably win just on that note alone. Wow. What? what is that? What? <laughs> What's going on with you today? You heard? You don't get it? Then yeah, you so heard not on me. I mean, I would say <laughs> it's got yeah. nothing to do with you know what he's working with. <laughs> it was, it was else? just a joke. <laughs> it wasn't serious. Yeah. When there's, there's nothing left to talk about. I talk about <laughs> dicks. <laughs> <laughs> that the work a dick joke yeah. in there. Yeah. Huh? Real quick. All right, next. We got a Karina up in here saying, "Congrats, Cypress Hill on the London Symphony Orchestra show." Well, thank you. Like We're doing man. it. We're doing it. Yeah, are you guys happen? What are you guys playing? Royal Albert Hall? Yeah, Royal Woo! Albert Hall. That's a historic hall. That's what they say. Historic hall, historic uh, orchestra. I'll yes. Be, I'll be ready. All this. I'll be you know ready. that place is haunted. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, I would imagine it is. Yep. A lot of those old ass buildings got those crazy ass uh, energy within it. We got Hesh right up in here saying, uh, been a stressful day dealing with a check engine light on mm. the whip. Mm. Are you good? That check engine light will stretch you out, stress you out, though. You know, you'd be having anxieties. When is this motherfucker going to just turn off all <laughs> The worst is when, like, you have the car that tells you how many miles you got left before you're completely out of gas. And it yeah. lies. It says, yeah. you know, Always. you got 40 miles to go. And all of a sudden, 39. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely, I, I was on zero miles one time. And I actually went, I, and un, I went almost another 10 miles on zero. I was like, so those things I just on, barely came in on vapes. You know, just yeah. don't let your thing go under a quarter, I guess. Yeah. yeah I mean, yeah. I was riding on vapes. After zero for yeah, I that, thought for sure I was not gonna make rolling it. Rolling on the fumes is like whoo, thin that's line, stressful. Bro. That's yeah. stressful. That's anxiety. You know yeah. what I do? Is that's when I usually floor it. I try to get my car going as fast as it can. So when it cuts Coasted. off, I got Coasted yeah, I got in. enough to roll it in. <laughs> Coast it right in. Anything that's on the right side, so I could just turn straight into it. Yep. All right. Uh next in here we got Western Good saying uh you guys should play a hot box game one of these Fridays. Yeah, we haven't played in a minute. That'd be good. We gotta play Bones too. It's been a minute. Yeah, we haven't played Bones in a minute neither. Get the yeah. ranch ready. Gotta get, yeah, get the yeah for sure. Mm-hmm. There's only one ranch winner here. Yeah, ranch king. You know what it is. No. Yeah. <laughs> Said I do what it takes to win. He had a Jack in the Box ranch, by the way. That was what he consumed. And I, I only bring that up because they have like this whole little ad slogan with. I love my egg rolls with ranch. I'm just like, no, you don't. Don't even. I mean, who really likes an egg roll with ranch? That's nasty. Say, why you lie? Yeah, you know nobody's ordering that. Nobody. Egg uh, rolls and hot sauce. That happens. Duck That's sauce, the, soy sauce, yeah. hot sauce. Who ordered the duck? Duck, duck, duck. 
All right. We got a tuna fighter saying, can I get a birthday shout to my pops, a.k.a. Mothman, for his 68th birthday? Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Mothman. Mothman. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday, Mothman. Mothman. Keep away from the light. Saying when I was 13, he let me get my first Cypress Hill CD, and I listened to it with me. Um, I've been a huge fan ever since. Shout to all of you guys, and he's given us the eep. I salute to you, man. Eep. Eep. We got Fernando up in here saying shout to you guys all the way from Lake Tahoe. Salute, uh-huh. Fernando. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. We got Sears Magazine in here saying we made kids whack off. Yeah. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Yeah. It's in the super chat. Oh, boy. <laughs> we got Ceaseless up in here. Thank you so much for the $50 super yeah. chat. Yeah. Hey, thank, thank you, man. Yeah. Thank you, Gene. Much love. Good looking. We got Jeff saying I used to boost wine coolers back in sixth grade. <laughs> yep. yep. All right. <laughs> Bottles and James. Bottles and James was good. They were. Hey, who was the, t- the two dudes? Were those- thank yeah. you for your yes. support. Yep. Yeah, that was yeah. Bottles and James. That was okay. Bottles and James. And the man. California James. Cooler is the one that had like the foil, not foil, yeah. but the paper. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Over, right? Over the lid, and you just have to turn it turn like this. Yeah. Those were yeah. good, too. They were good. Yes. Thank you for your support. They had a lime one and a citrus one, yeah. like a, a like an orange one. They had those, too. Mm. All right. Yeah, don't bring Jeffro to the back of the green room. No, don't Just do it. Taking all the wine coolers. <laughs> Scuffing his shoes. Oh. How's that 100 milli treating you? I'm feeling pretty good. feel like I got like a body shield of highness around me. All right. Yes. There we go. <laughs> then you're doing it right, B. Yeah. We got Kevin saying, hello, gentlemen. You're my first high of this evening. Thank you, guys. All right. Word. Smoke. We got Jason asking, any of you guys seen Dune Part 2? I that have shit not. was dope. I heard it was dope, but I have not seen it What's yet. What's Dune 1 about? Is it like an action movie? Well, Dune was a movie made in, what, the 80s or something yep. like that? By Sting and, and a few others, but they recently remade it with that Timothy Chalamet and, and uh, uh, what's, what's girl's uh, name? Um, Zendaya. Zendaya, right? Yeah. And uh, like the, the first premise. one was a big one. The, the remake of the first one was big, so they did Part 2. What was like the premise of the first one, the first Dune? You know, they're like, um, they're fighting over an essential staple spice or something yeah, like spice. that. Like, you know, it's Is this like old times or apocalyptic like oh, times, oh, maybe okay. different planetary time type thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, okay. the, and then the first one in the 80s, I think it was 84, or it was David Lynch directed it. Okay. Yeah. And it was visually stunning, but the, the story was kind of hard to follow. Gotcha. Yeah. And I this. Did like n- it. And this newer one with Timothy Chalamet, he, it's it's easier to follow. It's real easier to oh, follow. I saw the first no. one. Yeah. No, not the second. You haven't seen yet. Not the second one. I yet. think it just came out. They're yeah. fighting over territory with this specific um, element. Yeah. So as somebody who can follow it, what's it about? <laughs> that. Yeah, they, <laughs> they're exactly. trying to fight over, um, you know, the real estate that has this this element, this kingdom, this empire. Yeah, and the who controls the, which is the spice, which is like kind of like the... It's life. It's the life. It's the monetary thing. You can pay for things. And Was Dune not the, the movie with the big giant sand creatures? Yeah, yeah. they still have... They're in there, right? They're yep. CGI, yes. Is that like the Beetlejuice sand creatures? Like that? You well, like they that? look more, yeah. you know... Better? Yes. Because, oh. yeah, the Beetlejuice one's Sam. terrible. <laughs> They've Sam done more work on these creatures. Yeah. Okay. Speaking of what you just mentioned, did you see the trailer for the new Beetlejuice? Oh no! It's yeah, the uh, juicing again. No, yeah, it's the juice is loose. It's uh, Michael Keaton reprising oh. his role. Okay, uh, and it's uh, <coughs> what's it? Jenna, I forgot. She uh, she was in Scream and also Wednesday. Okay, in the, the Adams Family, and it's got uh, a couple other people. I'm directed so by Tim Burton. The Winona, Winona Ryder role. Winona probably. Ryder's in it. Yes. Oh, yeah. oh she's in it. Yeah, she's in All it. Right. Well, at least they're bringing back the old. There you juice. go. Yeah, there yeah. you go. Jenna and Jason Michael Thoreau. Keaton was great. Cool. I, would, I would see that if, <clears throat> if Tracy Lords was in there. Why not? All right, what else you got? <laughs> uh, next in here, we got, um. let's see, uh, we got Marbell. He's just saying, Colton, why can you get it together? You know he meant can't. No, I, I don't know. He said can. Thank you so much, Marbell. Thank All you. Right. <laughs> cool. All right. Big shout out to Psycho Beta Beatdown. Thank you so much for your super chat, man. Salute. And we got Midget Mike up in here. Last one so far asking, Table, is there an artist you still fan out over? 
Lots of them. Like a lot yeah, of groups. Yeah, 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 that's hard to Absolutely say. Absolutely plenty. There's still a couple yeah. mega stars that. Yeah, man. You if, when you're a out. fan, you're a fan, and I don't think it matters because, like, whenever I see Chuck D, I still fan out. Yeah. He's mm-hmm. been my friend forever. And that won't change. And that won't change because nope. he's one of those guys that I grew up like, this is the guy. Same. Yeah. What do you mean I grew up Cypress Hill? I still, to people, like, oh, it's a comic. Still's cool as shit. Never changes because, you know, like, especially at those influential times in your life, like, music was so impactful. And especially mm. if you were like, you're the homie, groups, but you're also. Yeah. You still, yeah. absolutely, that don't go away. Yeah, that don't yeah. go away. Yeah, that's mine. Uh, it's like Bobo. You're yeah. Bobo. God damn homie. right. Right but uh, we still, yeah. you still, I'm still a fan. Are you kidding? Me? Are you Bobo? Yeah, that's yeah. right. He's, that's Eric Bobo. Man, right. Steph Tone. Word up. We want to thank all of y'all for being with us. Uh, stay tuned for the Dr. Green Thumb Mix show happening right after this on Be Real TV 2 and the home site, www.bereal.tv. Everybody from Twitch got to come to Be Real TV 2 or the home site. You choose. Become a member of the home site. Get this show at the mix show. All right, um, and uh, salute to all y'all for being here with us on this new time. Spread the word. Let people know. Tell all the ones who ain't snapped in yet to snap the fuck in, y'all. All right. C-minus, got to shout out. Uh, yeah, this uh, the, tomorrow night, Saturday. Uh, the 20, uh, what's tomorrow? The 24th, right? 23rd. 23rd, there, there we go. Uh, I'm going to be playing at Bar Franca along with the homie DJ Fatrick. And we're going to be doing a Salt tribute, which is the group Salt. We're going to be playing their music all night. It's five bucks to get in. It's going to be a good time. Uh, we start at 10 o'clock and we go all the way to two. So uh, hopefully uh, you go to my uh, uh, all my socials at uh, C-Fan4 IG. Link in bio if you want to buy a ticket. Uh, and see you tomorrow night at 10 p.m. And thanks to everyone here at the table, Treehouse crew, everyone that watches. Y'all have a great weekend. Stay tuned for the mix. <clears throat> Eric Bobo. All right. Catch me on the socials on uh, Twitter, X at Eric Bobo, IG at Eric underscore Bobo, also on Discord, Insane Asylum and Bobo's Corner. Uh, big up to everybody here at the table. Tomorrow night, if you do not get a chance to get to see Minus' show, Come check out the Bobo Bongo Jam that's going down tomorrow. Astor Club LA, presented by Astor Club, Kelly Blaze, Puffco. It's going to be a party. It's going to be a party. So uh, if uh, you DM me on my uh, IG, first five people, you know, I'll get you in. There you go. It's going to be exclusive. So you never know who you're going to seek there. So come and check it out. Uh, Treehouse Crew, big ups to everybody that supports the show. And Snacks and I, we say, Buddy. Yo, shout to everybody from the Insane Asylum. Thank you guys so much. Shout to Ray Morning Shot Films. Shout to the Dominator. Also, pick up that Goober 14 millimeter bowl piece and marble cap at funkyfieldtips.com. Also, when you log into Funky Field Tips, sign up. You get 10% off your purchase. Check it out. What's up, Steptone? Yo, yeah, yo. Shout out to uh, Mark Sargent, Karen B, David Wise, Callie Blaze, B, C Minus, Bobo, Bolton, Ray Ray Morning Shot Films, Karen. Karen at Velvet Hammer. Karen. <laughs> uh, the Dominator, Aton, Pedro, um, Javi Lopez, E-Zone, San, Trace, everybody else, all the Asylum, uh, Twitch Ward, and Discord Leads. Y'all have a great week and catch y'all next week. Shout out Let- to everybody at the table, 5150's Insane Asylum. Follow me on Instagram, Cali underscore Blaze. Same thing like Bobo said. If you guys entered yesterday and didn't, or any of the days and didn't get tickets, Hit up his DM or my DM in like the next hour or two. And we'll get you on the list. Uh, it's going to be a very small, private, dope event. So hope to see you guys out there and uh, see y'all on Monday. Actually, some, see y'all some Saturday and Monday. Have a safe weekend. Swallow that. Yeah. <laughs>